Welcome to another awesome episode of Shuffle Scuffle. We got exhilarating gameplay lined up for you today. But before we get into that, we have to start by shouting out our sponsor, Dragon Shield. They have the best sleeves in the multiverse. Good sleeves. And if you want to get anything you see in this video, sleeves, playmats, any of that good stuff, use our links in the description below and you'll be supporting the nerds while supporting your cards by protecting them. There's one stipulation for this gameplay series. If you're gonna make a token with a card, you gotta draw it yourself with an infinite token. Hashtag not sponsored. This video is gonna be all about $50 budget decks. We're building the best deck we can for just 50 bucks. So let's get into those player introductions. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Beezy here. I'm playing Svela Ice Shaper. I'm hoping to make a bunch of manaliths and then cast gigantic gruel stompy spells for free. This open hand, not my favorite. It doesn't really have any ramp, but I can't say no to both my colors. Hey, this is Mutka. My commander is Wilhelm the Rock Cleaver. Uh, the point of the deck is to make a bunch of zombies, power them up with some zombie lords, and swing in for lethal when I can. My hand uh, opening hand was pretty good. I had three lands, Dreadhorde Invasion, so that helps me start off really quick with the zombies. And one of my favorite cards, Enter the God Eternals, seemed like an easy keep to me. Hey everyone, it's Tom, aka Bidney. Today I'm playing Tayum Luminous Enigma. The intention of this deck is to sort of have an Enchantress style where I play a lot of enchantments, draw some cards, win through a ring effect. My opening hand felt perfect because it had three lands, two ramp signets, and some good enchantments to play. Hey guys, Joe Cherry's here. I'm playing Elegith and Siani Scry Tribal. My whole goal of the deck is to just turn my scries into draws with Elegith. Kept this opening hand, got some early scries, so I can make sure to hit all of my land drops, even though this only has two. Hey guys, welcome to the table. They're picking up obviously on this side. On the other side, we got Mukka and Bidney. How we're gonna decide to go first today, we're doing an art challenge, but Mukka doesn't have his art thing because he's not ready or prepared. There we go. All now, prepared. Now he's all prepared. BZ's gonna hit random on Scryfall, and we're gonna select whichever card comes up and draw it. And whoever draws the best and gets the most votes at the table wins. Are you gonna edit that out with me not being ready? Nope. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit random, generate the card we have to draw, which is, of course, Goblin Sky Raider. Ooh. This is intense. I gotta bust out the red for this one. It's like I'm flying? What's oh, going? All right, we're finished drawing. Everyone's gonna reveal their art. Everyone gets one vote, but you can't vote for yourself. Let's go. Wow. Did you add some <laughs> fading bits for the artistic? <laughs> there was uh, some texture. Oh my, oh my, that is way worse than that. I like that one. <laughs> well, look at this, this is great. Dude, he's, you drew three shapes. <laughs> That's great. All right, reveal our votes, and it is... I like Mukka's. Beezy, Beezy, Beezy wins oh. the drawing contest of the Goblin. Nonsense. I'm gonna care. frame this. I don't care what anyone says, this looks amazing. All right, let's kick things off, I'll draw a card. I will play a forest and pass to Binny. Woohoo! All right, draw for turn. Play a an evolving wilds and fast lands. You gotta be kidding me. On budget. <laughs> Drop a turn. Play a mortuary mire. Tap. Pass the turn. Yep. I will draw. Right, we're gonna play an island. And now I know this island isn't worth, uh, isn't a budget island, but it is the island I'm using for this video. Okay. It's right okay. there. Uh, we're gonna tap this island. I'm gonna play a card. Here we go. I've actively only seen Jordan Mucka ever play. It is. Silver oh. Raven. What does it do? What value? It is a 1-1 one, one flyer that when it enters the battlefield, scries one. I'm gonna leave that one on top and pass to my good friend, BZ. So we can round that up to a 1-1 one, one flyer for one, since it didn't even change <laughs> top card of your deck. I'm gonna play just a mountain and pass back. Crack Evolving Wilds, search for a swamp, move to my turn. Draw, play Sungrass Prairie, tap it two for Celesnia Signet and pass the turn. Two Celesnia Signets in one turn. <laughs> it's a record number. You can really filter into green white now. Uh, draw. Play Dark Water Catacombs. Another Signet land? I will tap Mortuary Mire, tap Dark Water Catacombs to play Dreadhorde Invasion. Ooh, Ooh it's <laughs> solid. That's a solid budget two drop. Pass the turn. All right, we'll untap, draw. We're gonna go ahead and play a second fancy island that's not worth a, not on budget, and we'll tap them to play a thought vessel. Yes. We're gonna go to combat, and BZ has incurred the wrath Darn it. of Silver Raven. 
All right, I've incurred the bird. I'll take one. It's coming back. Now, now you're mocking it even more? No, it was, I'm not mocking the bird. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll draw a card. All right, I'm gonna play a forest, and I guess it's time for Svella. All right, guys, remove it. The ultimate blocker. Pass. It, it don't got reach. Untap. Draw. We will play a planes. Take zero usage of the Selesnia Signet and play Catilda, oh. Dawnheart, Martyr. Oh my. And pass the turn. I will untap. Being in my upkeep, I have a trigger. I will make a one, make an army token and put a plus one plus one counter on it. And my zombie army token. And there's a plus one plus one counter on it. And I have lost my life and I will draw for turn. Play an exotic orchard. And I will tap for black. Nice. Courtesy of Tom Bidney. Black. Black and play a cemetery reaper. Other Ooh. zombies I control get plus one plus one. First lord of the game. And I passed to Joe Cherry. We'll go ahead and untap on this side, draw a card. I think we're gonna go with a tapped mirror landscape. Mm, I'm gonna go to combat. Oh baby. I don't wanna incur the wrath over here. So I'll hit BZ again because what? BZ is evil. Uh, I don't remember you? being evil. He keeps hating on my bird. I like it. I'm gonna play a new bird. This one's a wizard though. Ooh. And it is Warden of Eos Isle, which makes my flyers cost one less. Pass. That's scary, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, actually I'm just gonna do nothing and pass and I have to go to discard. I'm gonna discard an ancient grudge. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> That's so good, you're gonna flash it back. Kept a three lander. <laughs> Draw for turn. I kept a two lander, but I might ex cry, so I knew yeah, I was gonna burn. I'm not scared as fella. You don't scare me with your budget deck. Planes for turn. We're gonna play Elspeth Conquers Death oh. to exile the Cemetery Reaper. So this is one of those this, things where it's it's clearly based on threat assessment. Like my first thought for like threats on the board is like I think I would go with Fella, then Warden in my head. I think those are my two, but like Obviously, everyone has different threat assessment. He went with the Reaper. Tom Benny just hates me. Then we'll move to combat. All right. Uh, we'll hit BZ. <laughs> Jeez, just a punching bag. I agree. Well, he couldn't get rid of your threat, so he had. I'll pass the turn. You would have been in trouble if he got rid of your threat. Yeah. You're, you look so far behind already. I will untap. Well, that's no fun. I will amass one nothing? and lose one life. Do it. Going to two. All right, let's draw for turn. I look for turn. Cast my commander. Who is? Willet the Rock Cleaver. Yeah, his name is Will Health, but it's Will fine. Health. We're doing one more time. Willet. <laughs> this is three times. That's the third time. We're, we're, not, we're not going back. It's Will Health the Will Rock Health. Cleaver. That's what I said the first time. No, it isn't. That's not what you said Will any Health. of the three times. Will Health? You said Willet. Do you have attacks? At Bidney, you got a 2 2. Yeah, we're just army fighting on this coming at you. Fine. Fine. Well, I guess if we're not friends, at the end of Mukka's turn, I am going to make an Icy Manolith. And I don't, there was really no like safe way to do it. I think I did okay without making it look too weird. And I'm gonna actually flashback Ancient Grudge to hit this Thought Vessel so that I don't have to play against Elegeth on turn four. Fair. Yep, yep, Thought Vessel has died. And then at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice a zombie. Apparently I'll choose not to. You're gonna choose not to? Are you not insane? To. That's fine. I may have a plan. So I think I'm going to go ahead and play a tapped uh, Selindi Isle. And BZ is just incurring my wrath. I'll Dude. Hit, I'll hit BZ for two and Bidney for one. I love it. You've incurred my wrath. Big beats. Hit me, daddy. Big, big I mean, you earned these beats. I did. And then I will pass to BZ. All right. Let's see what we can get going. Hopefully a land. Hopefully a land. Nope. Uh, that's why I prepared for this, because my commander kind of poops out lands. Yeah, Bidney's killing it. Next turn. Listen, I don't want to bully BZ. Yes, you do. Look at him. He's too cute. Yes, you do. All right. I'm going to make a second Icy Manolith. I just drew an Ice Cube for this one. And I'm going to tap my two Manoliths to play kind of another land, but not really. Zerta Druid, if I tap it for mana, you guys take one damage. Ooh. Go ahead, Bidney. All right, guys. Let's get him. All right. We have a tap. Uh, which, don't you dare try to cast non-creature spells, folks. Not without paying two extra. Not without paying two extra. Uh, nope. We're good. I'm not playing on it. Not planning on it now. I wasn't planning on it before. Somebody might have been planning on it. That's your own fault at this point. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you weren't planning on the cards on board, then I don't know what to tell you. We'll play Planes for turn. Love it. We'll play Myth Realized. Total's getting big. Benny, do all of your cards require non plus one plus one counters <laughs> to keep track of them? Yes. Or Zav Signet. All right, does that put a counter on Myth? It most certainly puts a counter on Myth. Nice. We'll actually use these Signets and we'll play Tayum. Then we will move to combat. Makes sense. Uh, you know what? Cherries. Yeah, it makes sense. One, two, three. Just like limited, Katilda's running away with things. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, and tap. 
upkeep, trigger. Mass one, lose a life. 37. Thank you. I will play it. <laughs> Hip new Revolulet. Nice. I will cast a Blade Stitch Scab. Other zombies get plus one, plus oh. Let's Beats. go to combat with a 4-3. The beats are about to rain down. Oh yeah. Willet's coming at Joe, and we'll send the zombie army. All right, so they're both 4 threes. So 4 3 and a, a 4, four three. 3. Yep, 4 damage coming at both of you guys. I will block with my commander. Ooh, Ooh. the commander trades. Sure. The zombie. We'll put him in the bin. In, in the, the bin! bin! I wonder why. <laughs> could be could be anything. Yeah, we can go to, we can go okay. to damage. All right. Yeah, and now your mask guy is dead. Yeah, don't erase that. I will kill you if you erase that. Keep it, and then make a new one that's a decay to I will kill you if you erase that. 2-2 two, two with decay. You get a 2 2 decayed zombie. He's my commander. You can tell it's decayed because it looks so bad. Yeah, it's got a lot of legs. <laughs> All right, we'll go to my end step. I will choose to sacrifice said decayed zombie to draw a card. Also, at the end of my end step, I'm going to flash in Liliana's standard bearer. So, since two zombies, since no, two creatures died this turn, draw X cards. Actually, there's a number of creatures that died. So, I'll draw two. This is the number of creatures you control? Under my control. Yeah. I have six, wow. so that's a no. Thankfully. And that's all I got. I'm gonna pass. I will also crack mirror landscape on your step. Budget decks We're popping doing off. Stuff. Yeah, this is exciting. I have so many things to do, I was just <laughs> waiting. How do I hold all these things to do? Can we play faster? I just wanna get to that point. <laughs> you, you of all people. That's how you of all bad. people. That's Can we play bad. faster? Hey. All right, untap for my turn. All right, that's not a bad draw. We'll play Reliquary Tower for turn. BZ thought he got rid of my ability to have the maximum hand size. I'm a fool. You fool. Two of those lands for a Torque. Torque, and I'm gonna pay two more to, we're gonna do something cool here. Fortel. Okay, I 100% know what this card is. It's definitely Behold the Multiverse, right? Mm -hmm. Scry deck, Fortel card, mm -hmm. how is it not? It's cost two cents. A bold prediction. I saw his deck list. He knows <laughs> yeah. all factors. Yeah, and, yeah, all <laughs> factors. Yeah, it, it might be Behold the Multiverse, who knows? Uh, I will pay three and cast my commander, who is Siani? Siani? I don't know. Oh, bear's thing. It's Siani, I think? And that's when she attacks, so we're not gonna be able to get a trigger this turn. We'll go to combat, because we're not blocking, I don't think. Don't you dare. Thomas Bidney, who's got the most life. Four, two, even though BZ, I wanna be clear, I think BZ is a huge threat, and very scary, but I don't wanna pick on him. The more land drops I miss, the more Joey's just gonna go after me. No, no, it's because he's making land drops. Don't let him fool you, he's missing land drops. All right, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, well, I, I kind of drew another land. This is gonna be the theme of the episode, I think, is me, like, forcing my deck to hit land drops. I'm gonna- see, You see how unentertained I am? You're interrupting my turn. I'm gonna <laughs> add a green and deal one to my opponents, and I will use that three green to cast Overgrowth. So now this land will tap for an additional green green when it's tapped for mana. So it'll make three mana. That's the, that's the problem with spells. You ramp into just using spell over and over again, and then, after your spell is gone, your hand's filled with haymakers too because your deck's filled with haymakers. What are you talking about? <laughs> this deck doesn't have any cards that cost more than three. I don't believe you for one second. That's fair. I'm going to make another Manolith. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing that she does. All right, this is just an icicle, but it's an icy Manolith, and I'm gonna tap it. These are, this is a roof and it's shingles. I'm gonna tap those three for a Croson Restorer, which is a one, two, it says tap, untap, target land, and it's threshold, untap three target lands. We're nowhere near threshold, but I will pass. This is pretty scary. BZ is untapping with a lot of mana. I'm doing mana things. And it's a threat now. Gonna untap. We draw for turn, which will make Elf's Beth Conquer's death go off. Thanks, Mucka. <laughs> oh Bring my back God. Tam. He got him. Luminous Enigma. With Good counter, right? Good counter, yes. We're gonna play Monk Idealist. Oh, when it man. enters the battlefield, return target enchantment card Another from your graveyard one. to your hand. Jeez. Bring back Elspeth Conquers Death to hand. I think there's three threats on the battlefield. They're in the form of Wilhelm, <clears throat> Siani, and Svella. Svella is like taking over the uh, mana game. The yeah, Svella, I mean, Svella is going to cast a free spell next turn. I don't, Svella, but yeah. I don't, I don't want to be the guy who's pointing fingers. That's but true. kill Svella, kill Svella, kill, Six kill, mana. kill. Yeah. <laughs> My intentions were always I wanted BZ to actually be able to play a game, which is why I let it exist. Oh. But. Now I do believe we will play five. Elspeth conquers death. Our board's getting out of control here. Time um, for Svella to bite the dust. She's back up. Svella will bite the dust. This also triggers because I cast another creature spell. You see my politics when I yell for him to get it? That's yeah. politics. Do I still <laughs> hate BZ? Yeah, we're going to swing at cherries. You know what? That is completely fair. I'll take three. This is like budget Sarah send it. <laughs> three mana, three, three lifelink. Too good. I passed the turn. 
All right. I don't like this engine you got going on, Mucka, where you make like no, three zombies for worry. free every turn. Yeah. I will untap, trigger. I mean, that was the thing I said. Like, I, like zombie armor comes. Literally, down. everyone's deck is starting to function and do what it's doing. And like, this is going to be huge on my turn. This is absolutely huge for Mucka, and getting rid of this fellow is huge for Beezy. Like, you had to, you had to hit one of those permanents, and they were all strong. Yeah, maybe I should have pointed out that Cherries is going to draw three cards on his turn. I, I mean, I literally yeah. said this was a strong. Yeah, right. in, in fairness, he did say that his deck was the worst at the table, so we'll let yeah. him draw three cards <laughs> and see what happens. He's going to play more Ravens at Scry. <laughs> Crippling Fear. <laughs> Naming Zombie. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. Mucka is safely in the driver's seat now. Let's go to attack. Send Wilhelm. Please, at Bidney. Please. For oh, four. Blade Please. Stitch Scab. At Joe. <laughs> Lilianus, Standard Bear. At BZ. And that's all of my attacks. So basically, you're all taking. Four Bidney, four at me, and then two at Cherries. Three. Oh, it's other, other zombies. Yep. Yeah. Should you get the least? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me. Oh, yeah. But I'm also at the least. You don't deserve the least. All right, and now we will go to end step. I will sack my zombie army. I bet you will. Because, you know, it's value. You know. I'm not surprised you didn't do it the turn before. Well, I had a plan, but yeah, enchantment yeah. really screwed me I think you could have got it to six power. Hmm, somebody's thinking. Oh, life linker. I forgot that that did that. All right, draw your stupid so, card. I'll draw my card. Write decayed on that. I will write decayed. Put a big D on his stomach. Ooh. You would like that. <laughs> 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 I'll pass oh the turn. God. All right, untap for my turn. I hope I draw a land. That would help me get back out of this. Oh, would it? I did. I well, did. Oh, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five. What's that feel like? Six. We're going to cast the Elegeth, and luckily for me, drawing that land lets me follow up with an Omen Speaker, Ooh. which will let me draw two cards. This is Mucka's Wet Dream. So I will draw two off of that. Doesn't get better than that. And then I will pass the turn. All right. Y'all got any of those card draw spells for me? Uh, Did you draw a card every turn? You, sh you sure? <laughs> He's got like 13 permanents on board. Yeah, no, I have a lot of permanents. I just... Oh, I did find a land. It's tapped, but you know, I'm not complaining about that. Right. Yes, you are. No, I'm really I'm not. not. Oh. I'm happy that I found a land. The first thing I'm going to do is replay Svella. I believe a famous nitpicking nerd once said, that's just poor deck construction. It is just poor deck construction. <laughs> so I'm going to replay Svella. And we need to we need to work on this whole mucka situation, but also there's a cherry situation that's brewing up. Well, maybe if you leave me alone, I might be able to help with the mucka situation. I can deal with the mucka situation, mucka. I can't deal with this situation. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I mean, anytime he plays a, a scrying creature, he's gonna be drawing cards. He can be drawing three. That's. I think Mucka owes me a little something, because I think this is a little bit more pressing. I'm going to try to Kenrith's transformation. Wow, what a bully. I think, yeah, I think Mucka's got advantage, but that's way more, especially if this is Behold the Multiverse. It's not. Does that draw four, right? Uh, yeah, so I'll draw one card when it enters. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that helps. Wow, you think that's more pressing than will help? I think it might be, and I'll pass through. We'll find out. Draw. This ticks up. Non-creatures. Yep, non-creature spells. You know very well that your next turn is going to be insane bonker town. Well, that's... No! No, man! Mucka, what's will help? If uh, another zombie control it dies, it becomes a 2-2 two -two well, black creature with decay. Yeah, that's the important part. And at the end step, I can sack a zombie and draw a card. Power and toughness is a... It's a 3. Just let me Technically, it's a 4-3. We're going to play Temple of Plenty. Just cry. We'll leave it on top. We'll leave it on top. We'll leave it on top. We'll it on top. Tap white. Or as I was saying, I won't put it down here because I heard that only noobs do that. Yeah, only noobs. Mm -hmm. Soul ring. Uh, we're going to Myers Grasp Will help. Right. Give it oh, minus three, minus three, Myers minus three. Grasp. Trigger on this bad boy. Take your card back. We'll head. <laughs> Take your card back, you scumbag. Okay. Close the command bro. zone, and I will up um, my tax to two. I think we're going to activate uh, Mithrealize to make it a 3-3 three, three okay. Monk Avatar. Or, right? Yeah, Monk Avatar. Trade. We're going to, Trade. no. <laughs> we're going to go to combat. We're going to attack Easy for four and Mutka for three. Okay, I can block due to decayed. Really holding that E. I'll take four. Pass the turn, I suppose. Okay. Untap. I have a trigger. That's right. Take one. You're also kind of missing some lands, it looks like. Top for turn. Yeah, I started off hot and then it kind of went a little cold. Yeah, Elspeth conquers that. has got to just go. No. It's not. This is going to come right back. It's going to keep looping? Well, it loops with the, the monk that he played that returns an enchantment because it's yeah, dead now. Somebody killed it. Put it in the graveyard. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is It is what did that. Though. It was a great play for him. So you can bring it from your graveyard to the battlefield, you're saying? No, yeah. it's ETB return an enchantment to your hand from the graveyard. With the Elspeth conquers death. Well, that too. 
But also, my commander can also bring back things from my graveyard. They can remove counters from creatures. That's right. Reading the card explains the cards, Marco. Oh, you're just tearing them down. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> He's not going for winning the game. He just wants to demoralize you. Yeah, no, well, it's working. <laughs> I'm about to get attacked for 20. Yeah, well, maybe you deserve it. No, he wants to be attacked for 20. No, 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 please. Help me up so weak. All right, I will play Diagraph Captain. Please, Maka. No, don't, don't attack me. I mean, you can attack him, but... He's going to block. He wants to block. He wants to block and replay it. Yeah, It'll cost, what, eight mana, though? Maybe it's not that big of a deal. It's up to you. I know that... We're in this position because we're friends, so hopefully I'm not. No, screw you. You deserve to be attacked. I'm only attacked. No, no, no. I just did him a biggest of favor. Maybe I deserve to be attacked by you. No, no. He's full of crap. Here's what he did. He took the words they heard me say. I said the words I can answer Marco's board and said, okay, then I'll answer Joe's thing. Don't let him fool you into thinking he knows or he's doing this for Mucka. I'm doing it for everyone. No, he's doing it for himself. Clearly not doing it for you. Do not want to get attacked. You got the no, You can attack me. Yeah, we're coming after you. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. All right. We will move. To Two attacks. Do it. Liliana Standard Bear, which is now a five. Five, two. Two. We'll come after Bidney. We'll send the the three, four at mm, also Bidney. You got it. And then that's it. That's the only attack. So here. eight at Bidney. Is, yeah. that, is that good, sir? Down to mortal you, life totals. Mortal total territory. You took my commander down, so you had to. It really paid for that a little bit. You're right. That's fair. I'm just going to pass the turn. How dare he stop your free value engine over there? I will go ahead and untap. Take your turn with your elk, sir. I do have a sweet elk. I can't let BZ untap with that. Very good. Fella, unfortunately. Easy to do that. So we're going to start my turn with this Spectral Deluge. Way. One, two, three, four, five. All creatures, all creatures with toughness five or less that my opponent's control will go to their hands. BZ, I absolutely am hitting you well. for Hitting you for four, you big... What can I say? You big jerk. That's me. I will then cast this Witching Well for one mana. Ooh, scry two. Scry two. One, <laughs> two. Would have been better if you drew two, huh? Daggers. Yeah, my God, that's almost... I'm still mad at you. I'm not mad at... He can say whatever he wants. Can you believe what this guy's saying? <laughs> You're almost casting a Power Nine spell right is there. the master. The two. master of the silver tongue, and I'm not falling for his crap today. Check my tongue, bro. <laughs> Oh, whoa. That's gonna be clipped from somebody, some super fan. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do your scry. Else is really excited. If you finish your scry, then it can be my turn. I'm putting both of those on the bottom, and then I'm going to cast a 4C. Scry four, draw two. Ooh, Put one yeah. on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Draw two. So you draw, you're just. Yeah, and I'll pass like, to you, BZ. So to address an issue that you guys might have noticed uh, about two minutes ago, I cast three non creature spells with Elspeth Conquers Death on two, meaning everything costs two more, but we kind of missed it, and we're not gonna rewind. So you convenient for Joe, right? So it's very convenient for me, and also there'll be an asterisk next to my name if I win. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You got to cast. You should have cast like none of that. I admit to my mistake, but everyone else missed it too, so it's also their mistake. We're just the guests. Are you kidding me? You can't blame us. There might that. be repercussions. All right, I will untap all my fake lands, and I'll draw a card. Ooh, it's another land. It's Raymond Up Ruins. Ooh. Eh? Look at us with our deserts. Svel is back. No. Cherries, how many cards do you have? Four. Look, I don't want to be a jerk or anything, but I feel like I have to protect my Svella. Leave this on the stack for a moment. Uh, there's a Reclamation Sage that I need to play. And I'm thinking, if Svella's gonna get murked by the Elspeth thing, ooh, kinda have to hit the Elspeth Conquer's death. Don't, no, make him make I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No, no, absolutely do not give him that power. You can hit Elspeth Conquer. I death. gotta hit it. Yeah, that's fine. If you think that's the only way I can get it back, you're a fool! Alright, then I'll play uh, Rings of Bright Earth. Don't even bother reading it. I'll just pass turn yeah, 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 after yeah, 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 that. Go ahead, sir. Uh, we're gonna pay three. <laughs> we're gonna put a lore counter on it. Oh, I didn't even know it manually did. Oh, it, it manually does it. Don't you worry. We're gonna untap. We know what we're drawing already. Ormancer! Returning Elspeth Conquers Death. No hard feelings. Everybody, I guess it's fine because you already know the last card that's in my hand, so I'm not gonna do anything besides just play Elspeth Conquers Death. Yeah, you get another monk counter, whatever that thing's called. It's hilarious, we have, we have to keep answering Svella, but like if Svella ever just gets to go, it's so good. Like I think there's a Swift Foot Boots hiding in that deck yes. too. I guess I'm gonna make this into a creature to attack Mucka for five because I love him. Yeah, in response. Yep. Kill BZ. <laughs> BZ dies. Right. I'm just gonna go for the throat it. Oh my god. Eat it. Gone. Uh, the myth realized, just realized it had a throat and died. All right. You know the last card in my hand and it's not. Untap. That exciting. We get another zombie army. 
Losing a life, amassing one. Boom. Draw for turn. Elspeth Conker's death is just gonna get back again. It's coming back again. Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna keep an eye out for one of his chapter two this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna talk about that. If you I... start your turn and just float six mana and then let it go to waste, I'll forgive you. I would like to say that when it comes time to cast this again, this will be the third instance of my commander hitting play with, with no, no tax. With no tax. Yeah, it still hasn't been taxed at yeah, all. This is exciting. I'm excited to just watch this Elspeth Conker's death just do the loops. You would be much less excited if you realized that it was stifling you every, every three turns. You know what would have been really sweet too? Maybe finding one of the seven enchantresses or You'll eight enchantresses. Or, I mean, at this point though, I'm out of fuel. I need I need something. Svella scared me, but you already had a million cards in hand. So I was like, maybe we can get rid of it. And then you played the rings and I was like, ah, all right, I don't want to see that. I, I figured. Yeah, I was like, I, I have no interest in watching Yeah, when Svella's twice as good, it's... Yeah, I was like, Ooh. yeah, no, I, no. All right, we'll cast Diagraph Captain. I remember him. Yeah, he's cool. He's a guy. He's a dude. And then we'll bring back, back Blades. Yeah, dude, look at you. Stitch Scab. The gang's yeah. all here. The zombies Zombie game are bad. coming. I'll no pass turn. I discard one card. You know how they say things are like a train wreck, where you just like, you don't want to look, but you kind of just have to look? That's how I feel about how loose Muck is being with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Do you see my hand? Uh, far out? Yeah, I don't want to look at it, but then he keeps doing this, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? Oh. Yeah, we're playing a fun game with budget decks. I'm not trying to get sneak that competitive edge. All right, I'm going to untap. Draw a card. All right, I'll tap four mana here, and we will cast Netherice Puzzle Ward. Netherice? Netherice Puzzle Ward. Netherice? Netherice Puzzle Ward, and I will... It doesn't do anything when it enters, and I think I'm just gonna pass because I want to leave up blockers. Uh, just in case Maka wants to beat me up for bouncing all the stuff. I shouldn't have attacked Maka. Draw cards. My biggest mistake. Play Fierce Empath. I'm gonna go tutor a creature with mana cost six or greater. If you grab Colossal Dread Maw, I'll be so proud of you. <laughs> you are not gonna be proud of me today. I think the card I'm gonna get is one of my favorites and I never get to cast. It's gonna be Inferno Titan, and we're gonna cast him. I think I'm gonna have to dissolve that, BZ. Oh! Unfortunately. <laughs> Whatever, scry your stupid one. Yeah, Holy Scry God. one, I think I had to do that. I will show what's on top afterward, but I'm leaving that card on top. I'll play Elvish Mystic to round things out. Ooh. And I think I think that's it. All right, we're on tapping, we're drawing on this draw trigger. Don't yeah. you dare. The spells you cast now cost two that's more to cast. That was actually why I dissolved oh. your spell. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh-oh. We're gonna play Calyx, Destiny's Hand. That's, that is super fun. That is super fun. Uh, I presume that resolves and we're cool. Everyone's yeah. good. No, we're, still we're gonna tick up. We're gonna look at the top four cards and I can reveal an enchantment card from among them and put it into my hand. I hope you find one. Exactly. I hope you card. find one too, because we're friends. Yeah, we are. Whatever. Well, just, you, just cause me and you are at each other's throat doesn't mean me and Bidney have You're to actively cheating against his cards. I don't I don't want to spoil or anything, but it sure would have been nice to see one of my enchantresses that I now have put onto the bottom. Uh, we're gonna do Journey to Nowhere. Ooh. Maka. What's up? <laughs> this guy's got death touch. <laughs> Are you going to attack Calyx? Is this what's going to happen? I mean... I mean, if you're going to attack him, then I'm going to have to use Journey to Nowhere on one of your creatures. Because you are the one person, I believe, that can kill him. On board. Um, I can't make any promises, so you can Ooh. kill him. I like it. Right. I like this. I respect it. My zombies are... You know, expendable. There's still two more turns. Anything can happen. Oh, Maka completely calling the bluff because he did not do it. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh my Ready god. Bidney said all in and Maka said call. We're playing <laughs> all right, upkeep, trigger, lose a life. Favorite trigger. Right? Amass one. It's like lost him 11 life. <laughs> Something like that. I'm going to die from my Dreadhorn invasion. Draw for turn. It is not a land. Okay, what we got? You got, you got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two blocker? I, I do. You did just say you don't care at all about your zombies. You will see in a minute. I'm excited. How least I care about I'm excited. Right? How least? Yeah. I understood. We're friends. We've been friends this whole game, and I won't yeah. make fun of his grandma. I've been friends with Malka for so long, I understand when he says something stupid. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Have you seen the group chat? The vitriol from Terry. Yeah, he's coming at you, brother. You elk one creature, and just you never hear the end of it. Evolutionary Sage is a 1-2, correct? You mean... Reclamation uh, Sage is a... He's a 2-1. 2-1, two two one. Two one. okay. Cast. Okay, out eternal bond two. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I will be sacking. I mean, you hate your board. It does look like a potential one, all three. One, two, three. Yeah. Two triggers for target player to lose one life? Two. Yeah, oh wait, it's We'll bring Bindi down two. 
So now that I'm not attacking Kallax, I gotta hurt him somehow. That's fair. So you draw three. Trigger, draw three. I almost just pseudo spiked the camera because I saw the, I the image. I look at the camera all well, the time. You're the, you're the host, you're the celebrity. Who am I? I'm nobody, I'm nothing. All right, I'm gonna discard. I'll make him. <laughs> Force him. Butcher, Malachar, and Ruthless Death, Death Fang to right. my graveyard. All right. So and I that's will, all I got. I will yes. untap. Obviously you passed, you discarded. All right, so this is actually the budget for Axie Arena. This is for, if we're going to go ahead and roll, roll a d4. Roll a d4. If I roll the highest, I draw other, and I scry the number that I get. So let's see what we get. Please. If anyone figured out what the card actually did with those words. <laughs> I roll the one, so I will scry one. Which I left that one on top already, so I'm gonna do it because it's daggers for BZ later. Later, so not even now. Not even now. Well, it's daggers because it's funny. It's I'm not... watching you like a hawk right now, just so you know. I'm not cheating. Maka, can I get a free, can I not get attacked by this next turn? I'll like, get some pressure at this. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's fair. It's not very we'll, send, we'll send three at Caleb. Block with Lauren Manson. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Well, now there's two of them in there. What do you, what do, you so, do? I don't know. It's... What do you do? In infinite loop. What can I say? My deck construction, impeccable. We're going to cast one of BZ's favorite cards. I kept it on top for a reason. Let's do it. Preordain. So I'll put that one on the bottom, one on top. Draw, this is a land. One of my favorite cards, attempts this all seeing. Yeah, that card's cool. All Super right. cool card. Yeah, that card. So if it hits somebody, you can just make them lose, right? If I have six different CMCs in my hand. How many, how many cards do you have? Two. Okay, two. So. At Nine. most he has two. We'll see, we'll, we'll reevaluate. I'm not exactly close. Right. I will pass the BB. Let me just keep having my fun, doing my thing, you know? My fun's having fun. That's right. I'm having so much fun. No, this has been amazing. I really wanted in front of What I appreciate about this game is it shows that on a budget how good interaction could still be. Like, we've had a ton of interaction and a ton of stopping each other. Because honestly, if our decks didn't have this interaction, everyone, this game would be over. Everyone would have popped off by now, and whoever's popped off hardest would have won. Agreed? Exactly. Interaction is super important, even on a budget. Look, $50. Play Dissolve in your deck. No, no, that character actually sucks. <laughs> Do as he says, not as he does. I mean, Dissolve literally, when it says draw a card, is pretty good, but it doesn't say that. And it doesn't even say that now because I don't have a commander because BZ's a jerk. Okay, for the second time, if I replay Svella, are you going to Elspeth Conquer's Death End? Yes. No, no, you actually don't control <laughs> the card. I was asking him. You know he has to. No. I don't know that actually at all because there's way more permanents in play now. If you play Svella again, I will not Elspeth Conquer's Death End. Wow. Are you gonna Calyx it? That makes it seem like he has something else up his sleeve. I don't know if I can promise this. All right. <laughs> ah, there we go. Sounds like I'm There's the ace up the sleeve. Yeah. His, the ace was popping out of his sleeve. Means he could see it the whole time. <laughs> so I have 11 mana. I will play Thousand Year Elixir. Also would like to tap some mana lifts to play a Garrick's Uprising. My creatures have trample and I don't draw a card because I don't have a big enough creatures. And that's gonna be it for me. Well, now I feel a little bad that that was your play. Uh, okay. Yeah, you you should not feel bad. Do not feel bad for this man. He's holding up something. Should we have fun? Yeah, let's do it. Woo! I wonder what you're gonna bring back. Um, well, it's either Monk Idealist or Oromancer, and one of them has art by Rebecca Gay, so we're gonna bring back Oromancer. This man's a genius. So it has Vigilance and a plus one, plus one. Yes. Card. We're gonna bring back Elspeth Conquer's oh, okay. Death. Mutka, what's that Bantu doing? He's a five six menace. Yeah, it's where's Bantu going? Um, it's not going at Calix's. All right, good enough for me. That means it's going at one of you two. If this man betrays me, he's dead to me. No, if he attacks me straight on, it's fine. And it is Weirding Wood. What does Weirding Wood do? It clues and adds. It's like a wild growth. Uh, okay, so I actually just noticed something because I didn't notice until right now, and I'm not sure if everyone else has. Uh, BZ does have haste activation as fellow with enough mana. I don't think he has the mana. You're talking about mana lift, right? Well, I'm just saying. I, I just want you to know that you're talking about a mana lift because you have some, don't have enough mana. I'm just pointing it out. It is very strong. I'm sure you'll play another bulk bin counter spell <laughs> when I tap out. <laughs> we found that dissolve on the street on our way up to the studio. All right, we're gonna start by casting Herald of the Pantheon. Gem spells cost one less. And he has vigilance. And whenever I cast he does have Vigilance. Put that Veggie counter on him, baby. And put the Veggie counter. We should have brought little Veggie Tales tokens. Unfortunately, um, he is does have a pseudo Enchantress effect, except for the fact that he doesn't draw. And we're going to pay two to put a Weirding Wood on this Plains. It costs one less because of Herald of the Pantheon. I gained you a life. He gained me a life. Thank you. And I get to investigate. That's a clue token. <laughs> Lovely. That's, that's exactly. what Beezy does every time is the magnifying Are you effect. kidding me? You think I do it that poorly? Yes. No, you know what? His has a handle. Your, your is just made out of a giant, one giant piece of glass. I'm not trying to like taunt anybody or anything, but you do have more artifacts out than enchantments currently. 
<laughs> and chance just stuck my butts. I'll kill you. Tap it all. Okay. Because that should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I can use four for ECD. And I guess. I'll guess. I would hit attempts this or the ward. Ah, I would hit this or this. Hit rings so we can shut up about Svella. <laughs> All right, we'll hit rings. Okay. We'll hit rings. Okay. rings is fine. Him rings is, is fine. And then with the other two mana, I'll just journey to nowhere on uh, attempts. I think. Yeah, that's allowed. All right, so you're gonna gain two more life. I'll pass. Life has been lost. Draw for turn. Swamp. I feel like Mucka, though a little behind on lands, slowly walking into a dominating position. Um, well, if, if you think I'm dominant now, uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'm gonna cast Victimize. Uh. All right. What's your Malakar and Ruthless Death Bank? Yeah, I mean. And then I'll sack my zombie army? To get him back, yeah. You can't attack Calyx. I made a promise. And you can't attack me. You made a promise. All right, I'm just gonna play Lazotep Reaper. Ooh, you gotta love that big heavy yeah, hitter after what you just did. Did you miss your, your zombie token? You wanted it back right away? Yeah, but you know, I felt, you know, get rid of one and get right. another one back. Jeez. Hey, Mucka, what sound does um, a V make? Is it puh? <laughs> Lazotep Reap, what did I say, Reaper? Yeah. <laughs> he, reaps, he reaps the Lazotep's. Yeah. <laughs> Which are these guys? That's them. <laughs> the Lazotep's. Those are the Lazotep's. <laughs> is it a band? <laughs> the Lazotep is the plating on him, it's the armor. Wrong. What are the it's those guys. <laughs> those guys. I'll send five menace at DZ. <laughs> five menace, huh? Man, this is... This is real bad. Butcher of Malakir says, you know, any of your creatures die, we all sack something? Yes. I don't want cherries to sacrifice stupid Elegath. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the problem right now. <laughs> Yo, guys, watch out for Joe's Elegath and uh, ignore my board. Anyway, I'm taking five. Okay. I'm not stopping Bond two. I'll pass. All right, well, untap here. We will roll the D4 for this. We got, we got a three, so I will not draw a card, but I will scry three. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna draw this one. I'm gonna scour possibilities. I'll preordain again! Another preordain effect, yep. We're gonna look at the top two. Put one on top, one on bottom. Play Jace Kicks. Woo! Pretty. We will get a second Jace, which I will draw. All right, so we'll play this Jace. He comes in, starting loyalty is one. This one's four. We'll plus this one, so we'll scry two. Yeah, so with the scry two, I will put both on the bottom. With this Jace, I will zero. Let's do it. And we will- Dark Confidant. Reveal the top card, Jace will take Three. An impetus. But that is good because Jace takes three. Butcher of Malakir here. What does that do? Uh, it makes it so this creature is goaded, which means it cannot attack oh, me. Yeah. It can only attack my opponents. Gets plus two, and plus two. And when it attacks, I scry two. Okay. And I will pass to BZ. Right. And you are able to exile the Butcher, right? Yeah, I am, yes. No. Okay. Oh, with Calyx. Right. I think. Well, I wish I had targeted this. <laughs> there's still an Elspeth Conqueror's Death in play. No, there's not. Nope, there is. Don't there, look at me. There is, buddy. There is. I think I'm gonna just untap. With my mana lifts and draw card. Well, Cryptic Caves, you know, not the worst. So let's see. I gotta recast Svella. It's the only thing I can really do. So... Are you playing, like, Fireball or something? No, no Fireballs. So this three, six, seven. We'll make a colorless. Let's get her back. She's back in. Does she resolve? You have a force of negation? I'm tapped out. Force of negation. Force of will, I guess. It's literally more the force of will. <laughs> force of negation wouldn't counter it, so I had to, I had to adjust. Yeah, force, of will. force of will would be double my budget. <laughs> You're playing force of will and 99 proxies. You're right. <laughs> That's me. They cost negative money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just pass. He's going to make a mana lift. Watch out. Yeah, I could make a mana lift. It has haste, right? It does have haste, but only for activated build. Drop. Boop, boop. What if I said I can kill Svel if you don't exile Butcher or Malik here? Ooh. Before Elspeth conquers that trigger resolves, I'm gonna Doom Blade Svella. Oh, so you were just lying about needing it to kill it because you just had the removal spell. <laughs> I would like to note, ECD chapter two has gone off again. Well, I'm gonna respond. Oh, I have not to yet. Make, I have to make a mana one. Yeah, Doom Blade is still on the stack technically, though Maka has it in his graveyard. We got a purple mana one that's just ice cream. <laughs> what flavor? Oh, it looks like Plum flavor, which I would know. What about black cherry or whatever they have? Hey, chapter two has popped off, baby. Hey, attention, cherries. We're gonna pop the clue. All right. Like, see, I, I wanna use Calyx right now to dig for more enchantments, but. It, it, we, I mean, if you banishing like that Butcher of Malakir, there's no way I'm going after Calyx. No way, no way. Yeah, because if Calyx dies, right, it comes back. 
Um, or is it the enchantment? Dice? I think it's just the enchantment. Okay. Uh, exile target creature enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. We're gonna choose Butcher of Malak here, and we're gonna choose Journey to Nowhere. We're gonna just double up on it, I think, because that's right. the actual only option I have. Well, there's Weirding Wood, actually. Weirding Wood's probably not. Weird. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll choose Weirding Wood. That's a better yeah, idea. Yeah, then, then if one dies, you don't yeah. both don't come back. Th that's a better idea. I should probably put that not in lands. God, Muck, I feel like I'm just gonna bully you, but I don't. Really... He's the threat right now. I know. I don't. Pull you away. Listen, the one thing you'll learn about me, if you haven't already, is that I feel bad often. Coward. I just want everybody to have fun, you know? I want everyone to play a game. <laughs> I, I come to Commander to have fun. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you're, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is cutthroat $50 budget tax. We're going to cast Borrowed Time on... I mean, Jace can just get bent. He's terrible. Honestly, the Puzzle War is also very good. Maybe you're... You want to get rid of the flyer? I mean, BZ, you've done a great job of flying under the radar and not having anything. Flying under the radar? Anything I'm at 17. <laughs> what radar? I have spell attacks is six, and I'm at 17. <laughs> He's flying under, you're flying under the radar. Do I have the, yeah. I have the best skill of getting my ass kicked and then still flying under the radar? <laughs> is it the flyer? I can't touch the flyer. It's Probably the flyer. the flyer. It's the flyer. We're going to borrow time. Best. Yeah, bring it over to his side. No. You gain a life, actually. I do gain a life, thank yeah. you. There are there still just zero attacks? I mean, we don't want to attack cherries. Uh, I'm flying under the radar, so you have to attack. Beezy just gave me a defender that says, no, he gave me some weird like propaganda where no one can attack me. That's fine. <laughs> the other option was worse. Well, I don't think it would have gone this whole time without being answered, but if we had, I would have won by now. I guess I just attack Calyx. I'm just going to pass. Calyx is our win con. That's what we're going with. Okay. It only has to plus uh, four more times. Your 50th trigger to lose one life. Believe it or not, there is Mass one? A, a budget replenish. Ooh. Thank you, Modern Horizons. That's the, my, yeah, it's the, what is it called? Oh, budget replenish. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's like, like Island Turn. It's like resplendent, resplendent something. Belief. Yeah, I mean, I would have actual replenish if my, my commander decks weren't mysteriously missing. It's true. This is a PSA time. Yeah. Give me the Here's the star that goes off and let me talk to people and Here's say, make sure you don't have mysterious people around your magic decks because sometimes they may disappear. And then you don't see them. And then you don't see them. Like a legacy deck, those are very inexpensive. So it wasn't a big deal when somebody stole my legacy deck. That was fine. No, that it wasn't, that, to be fair, back then it wasn't that expensive. No, back then. Even back then. <laughs> theft is never good. Um, don't, I mean, I don't let this budget fool you. I very much bling out all my decks. So even back then, that deck was still probably $3,000 or so. Don't even check the inflation on it. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I'm not going to. Oh, come on, man. Give us a break. What is this? Enter the God Eternals. Oh. Targeting. No, wait, what? I am Don't. Luminous okay. Enigma? I guess you also have to target somebody to mill for, right? Correct. I will mill myself. Ooh! That makes sense. And I'll amass four. Jeez, oh, you get to make it a six, too. Oh, no. That's the, that's the bad number. Uh, Good job paying two extra for that, Monka. Heads up move. Mm. Realizing that cards are in play. It's true. It's very accurate. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Not always. We're going to activate Tyam. Mm hmm Removing the plus one, plus one counter and the two Vigilance counters. So I put the top three cards into my library, into my graveyard. <laughs> you definitely don't put them into your library. So your top three cards of my that's, library. That's like a graveyard. Robo, that's a Robo Wolveswater card. Now, now that is interesting. What is that? Out of hello. time? Ooh. Oh, hello. Well, and then I return a permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from the graveyard to right. the battlefield. I can out of time right now. It, it puts it from for, right. CMC three or less. Okay, so something really interesting that'll happen here if you do choose out of time is you'll phase everything out then this will resolve, meaning that he could have two. He'll, he'll, he'll have two armies, which is not something you can normally do because of how armies are worded. Well, I mean, it almost feels <laughs> like it has to happen now. That protects Calyx. It, <laughs> it stops Cherry's infinite blocker. Let's do it. Let's have fun. Right. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, untap all creatures, then phase them out until this leaves play. I put a time counter on it for each creature phased out this way. Put the out of time on top of that. <laughs> With eleven counters. <laughs> there we go. All right, that looks like legitimate. Oh. It out. There we go. Woohoo! Okay, none of these things are existing anymore, but we can still now resolve the enter. So you're gonna gain four. Oh wait, no wait. It targets a player. It targets a player with it. Doesn't. Okay, so yeah, yeah. so it doesn't fizzle. Cherry's trying to cheat you on your card. I wasn't trying so you mill four and trying. you make a four four. I'm trying to make sure we're doing everything on the up and up here. Get out of here. <laughs> and then make another zombie token. <laughs> yeah, you get a new arm. More Lazateps. Resolves, get a zombie army token, amassing four. And I believe that's all I can do. You will know four also. Land, land, prismatic lens, commander sphere. And that's all I can do. I'm gonna pass. 
All right. We're gonna That's go. the best thing that could have ever happened for cherries. That was pretty sweet. I have two Jaces sitting around now. I will start my turn with the good old roll ski of the D4. That's that was pretty nice for me. I roll the two. I will scry two. I think we'll bottom bottom. Don't forget about your non-creature spells costing more. I will not forget. I will then draw. Okay. Uh, this Jace right here is going to go ahead and plus. We'll scry. Hmm. I think I do want to draw that. All right. Sadly, this Jace is going to zero. And he's going to... Well, he doesn't technically die. But now he does. <laughs> Omen of the Sea. Omen of the Sea is going Another preordain. Oh, baby. I know. This deck plays every preordain. Sea ordain. Play a island for turn. You've been cheating lands into play. What the heck's going One, on? Two. I've been playing my lands. And I... I've been playing my lands, and I have mirror lands. He landscape. caught up to me. I mean, I started with Kalex. I started yeah. putting like four or five lands now to the bottom. So one, two, three, four. We'll tap the four mana. We'll play a Prognostic Sphinx. Four mana. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I misspoke. Is what I meant. You gotta watch this man. You do have to watch this man. He does cheat. It's a decent card. They yeah. get big asterisk when he wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's back. Jeez. Yeah, I'm on killer. <laughs> Cherries is a blue deck. You have one card in hand, Cherries? Oh, no. Because right. Elspeth Conquer's death is going to go off. It really is. I think I'm just going to pass now. Okay. <laughs> Remove a time counter. <laughs> if that goes off, I'm quitting. I will say, I think that that is a card that I have underrated a little bit. It's a very interesting one. It is. We're going to draw. Because realistically, you have to actually kill it. Now, they, the things don't come back. Elspeth Conquer's death probably getting Nick's Fleece Ram. Next fleece ram? Getting monk idealist. <laughs> oh, that makes uh, a little more sense. And we're probably gonna get Elspeth Conquer's death. Uh, I believe they call this demonstrating a loop. <laughs> Imagine if he didn't draw that card. <laughs> to be fair, if he didn't draw that card, he wouldn't be playing. That's factor. This poor, like, like poor, poor Biddy be crying into his. He'd heart. be like busy over there, not ever doing anything with Fella. <laughs> At this point, I'm highly confident. There's no way that it's Fella now. Well, let's have some fun. I don't know. It might still be Sphinx. Probably not six Sphinx? Probably not the Sphinx. I mean, so Cherry's has what? One card? Oh, yeah. Oh, if Cherry's has one card, he, I mean, he's going to be wishing well, though. We're going to play Eldest Reborn. Boy, I'll respond. Does anyone else have a response? I'm going to start the response train here. And we're going to start with this Sea Ordain, which now costs two, as I cleverly laid it until I could cast it for only two mana. You are clever. All right, so we'll scry two, then draw. I want to count Those after this fun. game. Somebody tell me how many times has Cherry scryed. Like, Those how many fun. cards did he look at? <laughs> yeah, because imagine if Elegith just never left. Uh, and then we'll just draw this one here. Okay. Um, and then I think we're just letting it resolve. Yeah. That card, by the way, he can now loop Eldritch Reborn and uh, Elspeth Conquer's Death every turn, every three turns. Well, because they, they, they both can just return one of the idealists, right? Well, luckily, right now, he doesn't have a sack outlet, so it's preventing this loop from happening. Yes. Anyway, if Cherry's is done. Monk Idealist has to Yeah, you have to. Ugh. Okay. Manolith. Here's my fifth Manolith, and Tesfella is now taxed for eight. All right, and now each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Oop, I'll we'll get rid of the planeswalker. I'll get rid of the Oh, I can sacrifice a planeswalker? Yeah. All right, Jace is dead. <laughs> Bye, Jace. We're going to tick Calyx up. It's going to be three enchantresses in a land. It wasn't. <laughs> You'd think someone would be able to stop this stupid loop, but nope. I certainly have had no option. You've done nothing this game. That's why my deck is you. That's why my deck is great. We're going to grab Omen of the Dead. Okay. Are you looking to make more loops? <laughs> He's looking to set up some more nonsense. No, not necessarily right now. I might get Catelda back just so there's actually a threat that attacks people. It's... Yeah, Catelda is scary. I hope she becomes scary. I know this has Flash and we could do cooler things with it. Omen of the Dead. Boop boo. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. We'll do Katilda. All right. Then we'll play Katilda, and this board is a mess. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're right. Ooh, Katilda. This needs to go. No, come on. It was fun. This is just going to be a big, stupid stack in the corner. It was fun. That we can forget about. <laughs> it was fun, though. Okay, right. whatever. Uh, yeah, and then all my things just ETB'd this turn, and I will pass. Okay. On top? Mm-hmm. Trigger. Where would we be in this game without a stupid... <laughs> Zarmir becomes back. Dread Horde trigger. The Lazotaps are back. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Draw for turn. Mm, play an island. Malka started hitting land drops, meaning he doesn't have a million cards in hand anymore like he has, so he's not as scary. True. I think that out of time really, really put him in this place. <sighs> well, once again, I have to prove. Oh, no! No! I will cast... Army of the Damned. Oh, oh no. 13 tap, 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Oh, I will respond, actually. You got it. Activate Witching Well. 
on the off chance that these two cards are exactly what I need. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that means I know Joe Cherry's card in hand. Because there's only one card that you would play in that deck that needs two other cards that could actually do anything to that. Probably. I'm thinking foil. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that makes it sense. does resolve. Okay. Uh, for this you know, one, Maka, just make one two two. Yeah, we're fans of token drawing, but we're not we're not maniacs. Thirteen two two, tapped. Very important. Zombies. Right. For those watching at home, thirteen of them. This is bad. Yeah, that's not great for sure. And okay, that's that's all I can do this turn. He's swinging haymakers. Yeah, he has. Right, he's on. literally just throwing them over and over and over. All right, well, untap over here. Uh, we're gonna do the roll. Come on, four. I want a four one of these times. How about a one? one? How about a one? They interest you in a one. Uh, that's the bottom. Joe keeps bottoming aggressively looking for things that just aren't in his deck. I mean, even if yes. Mucka's gonna kill me, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna swing at Mucka. That's a scry three, baby. That's a scry three. One, two, three. I mean, we love you, Mucka, but you definitely became the person everyone wants dead now. They're just zombies. E even better, it's 26 powers spread amongst 13 creatures, which means... Uh, can't chump them all. Can't chump them all, yeah. You're just going to attack for 26, then 24, then 22, then 20. I'll tell you what else Beth Conquer's death doesn't deal with. Uh, 13 to do Does it take three, Maka? I will now. That's three Dreadhorde triggers, to put it in terms you understand. So I'm pretty sure that was first blood for you. <laughs> How does Maka have so much life, though? That's what I'm confused about. Because that lifelink. I never attacked him. Because nobody's attacked him. Nobody attacked him the whole game, I don't think. I've had, but I've had some good blood. Are you ready for so. this, BZ? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to deliberate, which is Pre another preordain. <laughs> Number four. You think you'd find good cards after six Oh priorities. my god, no. I'm not. I'm not finding good cards. Dude, do they exist? And I will draw one. Get that Spectral Deluge back and just bounce all the zombies. I really wish I could. Yeah, it looks like I'm just passing here. Oh my god, what? Unfortunate, unfortunate. Wow. How many cards do you have? Four. That, whew, this card I drew, like, I was pretty excited about putting it in my deck. But not anymore. It's looking real bad. Yeah, not anymore. The, it was, so it's a card draw. It's that, it was gonna be that or Harmonize. Really wish I had just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Only in hindsight, not not necessarily overall, but I might be cracking Memorial to Unity this turn. Yeah, okay. I'll look at the top five cards of my library and try to find a creature. Come on, BZ. I don't know what you can find. Everyone's cheering for you, including Mucka. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, but I mean, one of my all-time favorite creatures, if that makes you feel Truly one of the greats. You have two creatures, right? I have two creatures, yeah. No, I don't have a lot more. And Calyx is definitely dead next turn, so I, I don't know what to do with him. Yet. I was gonna ask Cherries about maybe a Liquid Metal Torque agreement, but he decided to tap it. You should have mentioned that. I'm sorry, I apologize. What are you trying to get rid of out of time? No, that actually hurts us if out of time goes away. I think Cherry or I think Mudka had the best creatures that I took away too. So that's what we were. We're not touching that right now. Yeah, you basically need me alive long enough for Mudka to die. What I'm gonna do, just because this kind of says draw a card on it, I'm gonna abrade to deal three damage. To that. Otherwise, I would have destroyed Katilda as an artifact, but we can't. Can't do that. So I will pay one mana. Katilda's on our side. Voice of Many, where I draw a card for each opponent who I control more creatures than, which is not two. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah no, Katilda's gonna do her best to get as big as she can to kill Mutka. No, no, I, I, I was never gonna touch Katilda in a million years. That's the only chance we got. Mutka's the arch enemy right now with 13. Two two zombies that are soon to be twenty six if he wants it. What's on the What's on the agenda for those tokens, Mucka? I mean, this. thing. I imagine he wants to kill me most. I'm not going to be casting this next turn because I'll probably get well, smacked with that two turns in a row. Just wondering what the agenda for those zombies is. Killing Bidney is the plan. Yeah. Trying to. I, yeah, I think he's that's fair. Powerful right now. I would play Wolf Willow Haven and make it so this forest is now supercharged. Uh, I'll pass turn. I just want to draw a card. I, I do think we've played very well against Svella. Svella this is, is a load of crap. She's very strong, and if you don't answer it, she will just win the game. We untap, we I get to draw before don't, looking at it. Don't, don't do me dirty. We do this, you're right, I'm not gonna do you so dirty. So now we discard a card, is that right? Each opponent discards a card. I'm gonna discard Guardian. Falcon Abomination. Fires of Yavimaya. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair one to discard. <laughs> no, I am having beyond fun with this budget deck. It's so much different than like the typical commander you get to play. What do I do? Slam as many enchantments as you can. Yeah. And yeah. punch the son of a pup in the face. Well, I know Muck is gonna be coming at me, but the question becomes like, what are your guys' incentives as well? I, I don't know. I can't kill you. You're no, my- Not yet. You are my, no, no, I can't kill you as in, it is in my worst interest to kill you. It is not in my are best- Are you holding up interaction? I'm holding up cards. I know we're not trying to actively destroy the out of time. But no. If, but if we destroyed it and then brought it back, everything phases out for even longer. 
So I don't know if we can do that. I can't interact with enchantments. Guys, I just, I can't. I just don't know what to do with Calyx because he's gonna die. Yeah, I mean, well, if you have, well, a, if you have a way to... Give me a blue card that interacts with enchantments. Like, I don't know if removing a zombie really is gonna impact that many things. Boomerang. Boomerang. So well, maybe drawing another enchantment is good? I don't know. You have half of the puzzle? Like, if you can blow up, if you can blow up one of your own things, you have half the puzzle because Calyx can exile this until an enchantment leaves and you blow up the enchantment and then everything comes back just to get phased out again. Which stops all the zombies, but I don't know. It does stop all the zombies, but... If that's what you're in the business for, that might be your best shot, but I don't know. I'm in the business for not dying, so... Yeah, I think right now it, it, it feels really weird to try and basically use two cards to two for zero myself to bring out a time back. <clears throat> at least this turn. Okay. Yeah, but I next know. turn it might be. I guess it's fair because you are at you are you are at enough life that perhaps you can survive this. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm about to gain, gain another seven, seven at least. Plus, yeah, at least yeah. I'm just gonna do five. I'm not attacking you. We're gonna five. If Katilda attacks well, Maka, well, well, I will not attack well, you. Well, 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 well. Does this change things? Wow. This little spicy mama that we're going to reveal is Ethereal Absolution. Oh, wow. wow. Minus one, minus one. It says that creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and creatures my opponents control get minus one. Literally gives, it takes, well, this dies. 14 okay. power off of his board. That's pretty crazy. I do like that. Is that, is that being cast, I imagine? Well, that's interesting. I think I have to cast it. Because it's hilarious. <laughs> Well, I mean, if it, it is hilarious. Well, yeah, and it's, I mean, it's actually amazing right here. Let's re represent this, give it an extra two. Let's just represent its power rather than the count of enchantments because it'll start getting confusing. Well, I think it's confusing if we start doing that. Let's just represent the enchantments and then every static goes on after. Uh -huh, I guess you can do that. The static is going to happen. I, this just dies too. Yes. Yes. Things are happening. Things are happening. Uh, and I guess I move to combat. Yep. And then I swing at Mucka for nine. <clears throat> Eight or nine? Nine. nine. Oh, because uh, he throw. Yeah. I got nothing. Go to eighteen. Pass. The but you turn that around pretty quick to it's kind of, woo! kind of being the guy, like the guy, you know? Yeah, but if I die, then uh, get ready, boys. Katilda's been a house. Right. I will. Yeah, no. Katilda's great. Actually, that just doesn't. I know. I will master one, but it dies. <laughs> oh no! Actually, you do get a free untap on all your permanents. <laughs> beginning of your turn. Yeah, that. <laughs> free of charge. All right, draw for turn. Watch out, I'm the jellyfish zombie. 13 of them. <laughs> Watch out, we're the jellyfish zombies. Ooh, I like that. This game is so swingy, and I feel like I have not done much swing. No, yeah, you part. haven't done a ton. Well, but... because when you swing, you end the game. That's that's the power of Stella. Mm. Listen, I got, she's for whatever it's worth, I don't care how the game ends. I'm happy. I've got to do everything that I've ever wanted. Stella is a, she's, she's a Babe Ruth. Like, she doesn't hit soft. Like, she's, she's not, She's hitting soft with these five mailers. Those aren't swinging. They're all bunts. Oh. She doesn't bunt. She just bunted yeah, five so times. She does not bunt. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the swarm. I would like to do it on that, but this is gonna kill me. Right, so, so I'll pay two. Three life. Because it's gonna cost us three. Yeah. Well, you could hit the out of time, but. It's funny that he had an, he had an answer for a lot of stuff. I will no. play <laughs> Soul Ring. Oh! Whoa! Beep, 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 beep. Turn 32 Soul Ring. Tap six mana. Be honest, did you forget about Will Helt? When? I don't know, just for the rest, of the rest of the game. Uh, no, but there, I've always had something better to do. You have had some. Sure, you've sure. had some solid plays for sure. Is that what's coming out now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. So you, you know. Oh, so. I feel like you overpaid for it. Who would be attacking? I mean, is Kalix dead now? Kill Kalix, hit him for. Just know that Bidney yeah. is holding up Make a Spirit, so you might have to attack with more than one thing to accomplish your goal. Uh, what is that? It makes a spirit for four? four for four, I can exile a card. If it's a creature, then I can so that uh, sense make a one one, one, one spirit. zombies at it. Chill out, just have fun. <laughs> just let me just let me go gracefully into a victory and we all have fun here. Do I, do I need blockers back? You guys aren't gonna attack me. I think we can all be friends here. We've become friends, Maka. All right, so I'm gonna swing seven one one zombies at you and then mm -hmm. six will go at Calyx. Um, that's my attacks. That seems fair. Um, I guess I'm just gonna make a dude. Uh, Maka, do you have any, what's the best creature you have in your graveyard? Um, There's quite a few in there. I guess I could get rid of Army of the Damned, but yeah, I want a blocker. Diagraph Captain, Glade oh, Bitch Scab. Uh, Diagraph Captain, I guess we'll just do. Uh, ooh, I get to draw a spirit. All right, there's a 2-2 two, two spirit. Uh, Calyx will just die, of course, and I'll block one of these seven that are coming at me. Right, 12 sorry. zombies and make a decayed one for yourself. And I take six. Calyx, I miss you. I don't. Go to end step. Yep. This guy can't block, so goodbye. 
<laughs> Goodbye, yeah. Draw a card. Thank you, blonde. And that's all I got. Uh, and step still. Here's the thing that is an interaction. It is an interaction. We're gonna cast Diviner's Portents. What do? So I roll a d20, and based on what I get, I either scry X, draw X, or just draw X. And if I roll the highest natural number, which would be a 20, I'll draw a card. Synergy. Yes. Synergy. Yeah. If I roll a 20, I'd be so happy. 11, so what happens? 11 plus two takes this to a 13, which means I will just draw six cards. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> I guess that is nine mana draw six cards, which... It is. That's par. That's exactly par, yes. We'll untap here. Get another dice roll, die roll. You get... You do get an untap step. We'll do the roll here. We got a two. You should have got a four definitely by now. One, two. Uh, Am I complaining? I think I'll no. put that one on top. This one on the bottom. Draw this. All right, let's slam this land for turn. Oh, slam that land for turn. How about a spell that helps anyone at all? Even you would be good. Just to get this game moving. You did draw six cards. Eyes Ooh. everywhere. Does that change? At the beginning of my upkeep, I scry one, and I can pay five and a blue to exchange control of eyes everywhere in target non-land permanent. So that's a thing. And it's a speed. I can do it at, no, activate, you can activate it only as a sorcerer. Okay, so if you wanted like Eldritch Reborn, you have to I'll take it now. now. I would have to take it now. Yeah, that seems pretty good. But I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know what you want to do. We're not in your brain. I don't want to be in your brain. It's cold and dark and you'd be so alone. No brain cells to keep you company. <laughs> Is it like club? <laughs> we got you there. Wow, wow. Go to combat. Swing two at Thomas Bidney. Scry three. Scry three. Um, oh, it's a three five? I thought it was a three three. Uh, yeah, I just take two. Cherries, have you shuffled your deck? No. <laughs> because you're probably seeing cards you've already looked at. No, I have not gotten there yet. Let us know if you... I took the two. Put that there, put that there. Mucky, okay, can I trust these to stay away from me? I think it's been pretty obvious that I just get attacked for a while now. Yeah. So. I think those are not coming at you, Joe. Okay. We need, really need to get rid of Ethereal Ab Absolution, though, at some point. Who's we? I no, think you want really that more than anybody else I does. used my only enchantment removal, Feed the Swarm, on it. You did. You I'm going to tap on something else. Ethereal Absolution is great for BZ. We'll see. We'll anyway. See. We'll tap four. We'll cast Tamio's Epiphany. Dude, you got to do something at some point. No. There, you should have found the action that you need. You're halfway in your deck. Four. He doesn't understand how this deck works. You keep scrying cards to the top. You've had a lot of mana and cards in hand the whole time. He's got two. I'm expecting he's doing some shenanigans. Well, now he's down to two. Are you guys ready for this? The one big play I had in Cherry's dissolved. Oh he's going to scry. <laughs> Whoa. Great. Just wake me up. Wake me up when it's... Uh... I want to put that one at the bottom. Sure. I bet you are. <laughs> Draw. Your hand's got to be like eight lands at this point. I am going to have to go to this card. I think that's where I'm going here. So we'll discard this island. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so much fun. You should be embarrassed. This is so fun. No, this is what this thing does. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, if you had your commander out, it'd be awesome. It would be. I would have won. <laughs> All right. He literally did put those J slab man effects in his deck. Maybe that's what he thinks is happening. Like, he's gonna. <laughs> you're not going to get there. Not on this board. All right, draw a card. Uh, I'm just having fun. It was a mountain. So I'm going to play a mountain. I'm playing to win, but I am having fun. All right, well, yeah. All right, this fella costs 11, and I have it. How much do you have total mana? Just for the curiosity. Five, nine, 14. So I have enough. <laughs> I have enough to make another mana. <laughs> How useful. Six, seven, eight. This card is going to look very sad. I'm going to cast End Race Forerunners. <laughs> is it good, Mr. Dissolve? Why would I stop that? I don't know. Why didn't, would you stop the last thing I tried to do? Because it was an Inferno Titan. I want to stack my triggers so I draw a card first. Okay, now my creatures get plus two, plus two, and they gain Vigilance and Trample. All right, Benny, that's 10, buddy. <laughs> wow. That's 10. That Don't is... you forget it. Enry Fortnite is though the budget Creator Hoof, much better than Creator Hoof here. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's all I can do. <laughs> Back to you. Scared Benny. of Bidney's turn. Everyone's scared of Bidney. How many cards you got? Multiple. Three? That's too many. How, okay, what did I tell you when we were walking into this place? I said this deck is filled with mainly O-rings. Yes, you did say I that. can't handle all of you getting big. I can't do yep. that. I just can't do that. Oh yeah, I'm, getting, I'm going real big. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna untap here. Right, let's, let's, get this, let's get this down to a reasonable number. It's gonna go down to a reasonable number. I'm a, I have a feeling I'm gonna die before that. I do draw, and that's what we're... Uh, My best thing by far is Inferno Titan. I don't know. Um, I, 
the oh. graph, Captain. Yeah, okay. I found it. Never mind. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Front Titan kills three zombies, and, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I, I but then also, are replaced with three zombies. Also, I can bring back Monk Idealist, but then what? Again, what am I doing? I'm there's, just there's chaining also, this. There's also actually. I could bring Katilda back, but she doesn't have haste. I think I just grab Inferno Titan. All right. Yeah. At least I get to see him do some work. So yeah, we're gonna we... blast down three zombies. Okay. We'll get three decayed three zombies. Decayed zombies. Four to nine. So Four I want to let's think about that from a flavor point. Like this guy's a leader of an army. He, this whole army's here. Okay, they get burnt alive by the Inferno Titan, but they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. They're doing. They're worse for wear. If they attack, they'll die. But they're still here. That's actually that's what's coming off. That's that you, you said you thought that was stink. That's that's, that's actually flesh. smoke. Charred flesh. Charred flesh. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Hope it's a proactive play. Sanctum Weaver? Yeah. That's a lot of mana. It is a lot of mana, but I'm still just dying to all of you. Silver Tongue over there now. The Sith Lord. I can't Palpatine? remember his name. Yeah, I think he said, uh, help me, Anakin, I'm so weak. And then he kills <laughs> Mace Windu. Exactly, that's what he's doing. Am I Mace Windu? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna pass. Upkeep, lose life. Of course, the upkeep. I'm yeah. one. And, then, and it's dead. And it's dead. <laughs> but actually now you get a decayed token. It's true, and it's back. Four decades. Four? Four? I th that's right, I three. You had Four three. stinky okay. burnt decades. Uh, we'll drop for turn. Ethereal Absolution. No, I should have never cast you. Land. Here's a pure hypothetical. Would you attack Benny with everything if Ethereal Absolution wasn't in play? Absolutely. I mean. Right. Let me know if you go to combat, I might have an effect. <laughs> Benny's got, you know, mana up and some cards yeah, in you hand. Gotta watch out. He left up to make a spirit. <laughs> Yeah, I certainly want to be the last person killed with this token army, but I, I'll definitely help you take out the absolution. 18 mana in total for Army of the Dam to get a bunch of 1-1s one -one feels really bad. So yeah. if I can get 2-2s two out Sorry. of it? If I, if I take out the absolution, can I not be attacked until Bidney is dead? Is that fair? The entire game? I mean, until how long that is. That's, uh, like, that might be one second. I, I'm considering a line that might help. You have a line that helps do anything except scribe? <laughs> 20 turns in. It doesn't amount to anything. I know. Oh, I got that. Well, it's removal, but it makes something for him, so it doesn't matter. It'll, it, he'll end up with the same amount of blockers at the end. Ooh, cherries with Reskull. You've been wrong, I think, every single guess on cards. I, it's Behold you, the Multiverse. No, it wasn't. No. It's Foil. No, it wasn't. I don't, it wouldn't kill him, though, because I only have 26. Right, so it'd be next turn maybe he would die a horrible death. I can hit him for three. I mean, I just want the Ether Absolution to die, and the only way it does die is if I attack all out, and I feel like I have to take that that uh, offer. I can, I for, I have can you sack your own Ether Absolution? I can I foresee what's going to happen. It's all right. He's going to kill this, you're going to attack me, he's going to attack me, I'm going to die. BZ's gonna have overwhelming creatures and attack you with them because you're not gonna have anything to block. And then what's going to happen? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to check to see if there's anything under my you are, You're playing Spella, my guy. Muck is at 13. It's sitting he's on Spella. Like, he's not at like a million. I don't believe you. I'm offering to destroy your thing and with some added security for me so I don't just get murdered. Well, I'm not, I, well, I probably wouldn't attack with everything because I would like to have blockers back and save my asshole. You don't right. have to have blockers back. You're safe. But I'm not attacking you. I guess I didn't say that I wasn't taking. There won't be a crackback for a time. I just don't want no Gruel deck to come at me with some overrun effect. Which is fair, That's which is I'm, fair. That's what I'm worried about. Right, totally fair. We can all team up here. I can, I, I can put the final hits if BZ won't attack me. I just, I guess I'm just not attacking next turn, whatever. Fair. As long as we, I, I, can, I think I might have to do the final damage and the only way to do Mutka, that. Mutka, I, I think if you really kill me, it's a wonderful world. I've played a great game, but I will give you my opinion, I, which I think they're playing you for a fool. Going to combat? Yeah. I'd like to use my effect. I'm gonna attempt mm -hmm. to beast within I got to target this one. This is my plan. This is a game. It's turned into not a game for me anymore. You've had a lot of fun. I have had. A, I've had a. Oh, I've had a. <laughs> You've had enough fun. Everyone at the table. You're fun, Ed. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're having. Cool you're having so much fun. We gotta stuff. stop you. You've done a lot of cool loops. I'm saying I don't know how I survive all three of you attacking me constantly. I just don't think it happens. So we're gonna do this, Maka. I guess we're gonna take a creature out of your graveyard because I'm assuming you're the only one that can. Reanimate. Do that, yeah. Um, I'll let you keep this spell and hopefully you can kill them with it. Thank but you. I already foresee they're going to murder you next. So this is nitpicking nerds collusion. Yeah, get rid of that. There's no collusion get, over here. Get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of that. Did I get another one one spirit? Since I'm going to lose soon, I'm just going to draw some other face. All right. Ethereal Absolution is gone. He's got four creatures. He's not, yeah, he's not dead for me and you. That's for sure. I mean, BC's got an Embrace Swarm. I'm quite literally just trying to live to have one more turn. I'm not gonna do anything great with it. I just want to have one more turn. All right, so okay. wait, uh, so that resolves. Oh yeah, I got a beast. I got a beastie. I gave it really big horns. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very nice of you. All right, I'll move to combat. 
You sure will. So I have nine to two. So I'm gonna send, so we're send six regular zombies and one decayed has summoning sickness. Nine two twos coming up in. Three of them have decayed. Correct. Gotcha. That, that's all I got for my attacks. That was a weak sauce attack. I believe he said everything, didn't he? I have two. I have two blockers. Remember when I said I'd attack with everything? I lied. It's a commando <laughs> quote. Commando is one of the best movies out there. I'll just block two of them. I'll take fourteen. The decayed or the regular ones? <laughs> the regular ones. <laughs> Go four. Uh, so I get two decades. more decay. These guys will up to three. These will die at the end of combat. Right, and then I can't sack them any at any, any point. These are, these yep, these just gone. These guys. Then I will go to main phase two. I'll cast Army of the Dam for his flashback cost. All I'm gonna say is, in my dying breath, if you show me your hand in pyroclasm in there, I'll be so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Oh my god, it would be so good. So you get casual 13 more. This is exiled. In my end of turn is great. Okay. It, wait till he gets to the end of turn. Um, He's so, so excited. <laughs> All I have left is the Queen's Gambit. So if I <laughs> if I live this turn, I'm just gonna try shooting the moon. And right. end step, I will sack one of these zombies to go to three. To this goes to decay to four. Draw a card. Pass the turn. All right. Tap three mana. Sack sea ordain. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that is. That's a pretty power. I need to just like do this when Joe's taking his turn and like cover my ears. <laughs> uh, we'll bottom, bottom. <laughs> Untap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I roll a four? You not only scry one on your turn. You know what, Cherries? But you roll a die. I would like to see you roll a four. Which one are you doing first? Uh, what's the other one? Scry one, guarantee. Oh, so we'll do scry one first. Scry one. That's worthless garbage. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my deck. Okay, now roll die. Now I will roll this dice. Four! Four! Yeah, the first time. I scry four, scry four, then I will draw. All right. There's one card I want in here. Put it on top. Put the other ones on the bottom. It's going to be a mass bounce spell. I will draw off of this, and then I will draw. Something. You're in the best position, and I mean this sincerely. Prognostic Wait. Sphinx at the bid knee, because BZ said he wouldn't attack me. All right, uh, scry three, sir. You know what? Scry three. Which, Hold okay, on, your right. blocks might change depending on how he scries. <laughs> I'm gonna block with a smiley spirit. Put all in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, all right. Gonna block with a smiley spirit. <laughs> it wouldn't have even mattered if he drew them because they're all just bad. <laughs> I'm having so much fun this game. I can't even explain it. Now Joe knows how I feel with all my mono blue decks. It's, it, it, I, I know I'm not doing anything and I don't care. <laughs> Welcome to my life whenever I play Commander. <laughs> that is BZ Commander. Oh, uh, hey BZ, uh, are you gonna win? No. The cards I drew. I can't Queen's Gambit. No. All right, I'm dead. I had one hurrah that was gonna be hilarious that I was gonna try to do, but. I mean, you're not dead to me, so I don't think, I don't think you're dead. I swear to you all, like, I'm not trying to silver tongue this right now. Yeah, they are. Every card in my hand is just single target spell. So it's like, I, I, I'm dead, I am dead. Well, here's the thing. If we don't come up with something collectively, we're all just dead next turn. Well, that is also true. You know what though? If Mucka murders us by swinging out two two zombies, worst ways to go. Yeah, that's a fine way to go. I'm not mad about it. It's no. really on you. Like, I, you understand? There's some pressure on you to do something. Yeah. He's got nine islands and a opt in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Uh, no, no, I already used opt, so I can't have opt. Well, let's have something. I'm sure you have another rendition of opt. <laughs> <laughs> There's. You had a many choices. That's Serum Vision. Serum Visions is rotting in his hand. I'm gonna do something strange. What am I do even doing over How here? How strange? Like more strange than what you've been doing? I'm gonna pay six. Okay. Eyes everywhere. Here. And I'm gonna change eyes everywhere with this journey to nowhere. Interesting. Let's see it. Let's see the thing you're gonna do. I I know now that you have something relevant, which makes oh. me happy. No, now if Bidney dies, I actually get my thing back. That was it? <laughs> you're dead. You're only at 27. Good. He's got like 30 power. All right, well, no help from the cherries. Uh, but I'm sure he will counter whatever impactful spell I play. <laughs> I'll draw a card. Uh, we'll play Castle Embereth for turn. Ooh, nice. All my red lands, I guess, are on the bottom. You guys already know that Elspeth Conquers Death is in my hand because I bounced it a thousand times, and I can't Queen's Gambit because I actually read the card. I was gonna try to have a glorious play, but I can't. You have 22 tutus. Oh, look, yeah. I told you they were just using you as their pawn. Yeah. Get, get me down to nine. You're not my pawn. You, you're my friend. 
called being friends. All right, I'm gonna crack my Cryptic Caves to draw a card. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, baby! This was one of the coolest cards I could draw, let me tell you that much. Ooh, yeah. I like to hear that. I'm gonna play Humble Defector. Ooh. Don't we all draw cards? Is that what that Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna activate it, because it has haste. I'll target myself and Cherries, and I will respond. <sighs> yep. I'll untap it. Yep. Sounds pretty and I'll target myself suspicious. and Cherries. Okay. So Sounds pretty suspicious what's going on. Cherries gets it. I'll draw two. Uh-huh, Tim Rude's gonna love this. Cherries gets <laughs> it. I'm gonna cast Fiery Confluence. Woo! <laughs> I would like to deal two damage to each creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna target something to be destroyed. Uh, I think an artifact. Or maybe I just wanna deal two damage to each opponent. I don't know. <laughs> that was just such a clutch one. I think I'll target Torque to be destroyed. What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I don't Was know. that a top deck? Well, I drew four cards, you so you, you tell me, was, kinda. Was, well, yeah, you were down to was, one or zero, right? It was zero, one of right? his four top decks this yeah. turn. I'm glad they played you. <laughs> now we both get to lose. You're not dead, buddy. Why well, he's getting the cane zombies that he's gonna punch BZ's head in with. I can still kill somebody. Pretty Thank suspicious God. how both you and Cherry's got to draw four cards, is all I'm gonna say. I didn't get to draw anything, this is dying. He just gains control of I drew four. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I didn't draw anything. No more collusion. We, but we talked about this before the game. We spent hours <laughs> last night. Our Brewing up this line. Brewing yeah. This I should have been editing a video, but instead we were colluding on how we were going to win today. Building up that line for Humble Defector, yeah. yeah. All right, so so two damage to everything? Every creature takes two. So I get 18, two, two zombies. What are these? Oh, those are regular zombies too? Yeah, I think yeah, they, they attack right. separately. Wait, so those are attacking me now? Is that what you said? I didn't say that. Hmm. I'm just saying. He inferred it. <laughs> I'm just saying I, have, I still have creatures to attack he's still with. Saying, he's okay. still saying he definitely can attack. And These that somebody all... just killed all of his zombies. Right, so. They're all, actually, no, none of them are tapped. I, I know I right? said I wouldn't attack Mako, but he did just make 18 two twos. <laughs> like, <laughs> how much mana do you have left? Oh, I only have one floating. <laughs> You're just gonna attack me. A man is only as good as his word. Right. Uh oh, BZ. <laughs> You're, just... You're no good. I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not that good. Uh... If he attacks you, oh man. Attack. I'm gonna call a timeout and I wanna tell story time here. Uh, last time, I will support BZ's play to attack Mukka. I know, I haven't yet. Literally, well, the last time I played with Mukka, I left his Arami alive, and he said, and I asked him politely, don't kill us, just don't end the game so I can kill both the Sire of Stake, and he said, okay, and then he killed us and ended the game. So I support this. I will play Glorious, <laughs> Glorious Sunrise. Interesting. That's a cool card. I think it is cool. I like it in budget. So I think I'm gonna go to combat. I'm just trying to think of which one I wanna do. You have 18 2 twos, which is 36, right? All right, but we're, we're, we're best friends like we have been the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> he just blew up all, don't let I'm gonna draw a card. He can't attack you. He can't, with a good conscience, he cannot attack you. Put him out of his misery. All right, so did, I'm just trying to make sure. Did I make a deal that I couldn't attack anybody besides Mukko? You, yes, you said you couldn't attack me as well. I guess it's just me then. Right. Cause I, Cause I was trying to get him with the, with the kill. I'll pass the video. Hold on one second, hold on, before you pass. So what was the deal? Was it he attacks Bidney with everything, you don't attack him? Right. Because that didn't happen. It did not happen. I'm not gonna be a stickler. I'm just gonna pass because okay. I'm a nice guy. Okay. I'm gonna omen of the hunt. Ooh. Ooh, get that land. If you asked me how many omens would we play this game, I would not have said three. I <laughs> did three. <laughs> We played, we just need the red one and the white one. We need the red and the white ones, and I'm not playing. The white one's all right. I think the red one is, is horrible. Yeah, if you, do you have any blue mana? <laughs> uh, you can activate that ability. Uh, yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> well, you like that. He, he liked that one. I guess I can do that, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take Journey to Nowhere back. <laughs> This belongs to me! Yes. This doesn't make any sense! This is mine! Everybody can flop it, I guess, because everybody has mana, can create mana of any kind. If Cherries wasn't a blue kid, I'd be happier. But he is, which makes me sad. We've only seen one counter spell so far. He, yeah. You think I put more in like that? I think you yes. Think you put I'm sure you have like 15 cards in hand right now, and they're all counter spells. No. Let's find out. The thing that I really want to do is kill the Sphinx just because Cherries is a jerk. Why have I, I attacked you for three? He attacked you for you're, 37. Because you know, you, you're doing it. You're doing it again right now. Because you're doing it again. You're doing it again. Um, I'm learning why BZ has to politic so much. His decks don't do anything like this one. When your deck does nothing, you have to politic nonstop. Now he's learning. <laughs> I'm learning how to play BZ magic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me this. <laughs> I love this. I'm going to go to combat and draw a card. Then I was hoping you would have that when you die because I wanted to get it back. We're going to play a Font of Fertility in my second main 
and uh, pass the turn. All right, on your end step, I will pay two. Yeah, buddy, you got it. To sacrifice the Ipnu Rivulet, the desert, to mill four. Hey, you you live your best life, my friend. Target, why not target me? Uh, yeah. See. Oh, yeah. oh. Vizier, Vizier, ooh, that's a, uh, okay. I mean, you got you got that. That's really strong. All right, take my turn. Upkeep. I was just hoping to draw something fun. I finally get to make a zombie army and yeah, not have it die. Good. Could you want to pay one life again to bring back Master Death to your hand? It goes to my hand. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, 11. I gotta go all out, I guess. And I'll draw. All right, draw for turn. Uh, I'll play a tap and land. I'm gonna cast Rooftop Storm. Okay, you have a limited hand, so. It's a good card. I've been more scared, but I'm sure it resolves. Yeah, I'll cast Master of Death. It's rail two. I'll put both of these in the bin. Two swamps. And I paid six mana to no, draw okay. a card. You seem to have less regular zombies than before. Who did that? Who was that? Look. Well, let's make it. <laughs> hold on. Let's make it a little. Make them a little bigger. I'm gonna cast now. Guys, G Gisa and Geralt. 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 All right. So you can cast one zombie in your graveyard after you mill four. Eternal Scholar. Oof. That's pretty good, You're not gonna lie. Four. Does that give them all flying? Yeah, it gives them all flying. Muckus apparently said he was taking cherries, and I, I do trust him in last man. He did not say that. But he did. He did yeah. not say that. You're just, you're putting words no, in his mouth. No, you really weren't listening. He did say that. He didn't say That's that. That's part of the reason I didn't, uh... I did say that. What? Okay, that you better unsay it. <laughs> How am I your enemy? I Listen, I've been wondering that again since Ethereal Absolution went away. I, kill, but it's fine. Kill both of them, and then we can just shake hands and hug. Whatever. Oh, that'd <laughs> yeah, be nice. That would be hurt. nice. I have two. Yeah, I got I got two four. cards in hand. All right, so then I'll cast for free because of Rooftop Storm. You sure will. And Giza. A mass two. Eternal Scar Lord. A mass two, go to three. This guy's got summoning sickness, though. And they all fly. Everything's, all my zombies are flying. Zombie tokens. Tokens, yeah. Just, these. All right. Uh, no lords, unfortunately. The table seems to be somewhat at your mercy. Definitely at your mercy. I mean, 18, I could kill BZ, unless he has something else to do. And he could kill um, me too. He <laughs> can also kill me. Cherries is the oh. one who's actually potentially holding something up, which oh, you may or may not yeah. be able to beat right. if it's later in the game and you don't have other opponents. I mean, this is 36 and you have no flyers. I mean, yeah, I could just go. There's blockers. Where? In the air? I don't see any. Oh, in the air? None. Yeah. What Honestly, I think I'm just gonna. I don't try it. I think it's a really bad idea, Mucka. I mean, I guess since it's, it's exact, gonna with, it's going to end with your board in a very bad position. Mucka. Which means he has something that we need to bait out. No, BZ needs you to bait it out so he doesn't die. Anyone who wants to beat you has to bait it out. All right, well, I mean, if you and I are both dying, I don't know if I just do this and... Well, I guess that would be spiteful if I tried to get uh, Cherries to use a counter spell on a spell that I could oh use to try and save our lives, but... That doesn't sound spiteful. If it saves our lives. All right, I'm gonna go anyway, to combat. Pick your attack, sir. I won't. Wait, there's no way you can. There's no way because I can't divide yeah, it. Yeah, you can't right. divide it. I can't it. divide That's it. That's not exactly. how that works. Yeah. So Willet's gonna come at cherries. I'll send. You could send. Why don't you send five in the air at? Why don't you send, you send a couple at me? Just a couple. At me. You want my blood on your hands? And then I'll send 24 damage at cherries. That's my attack. Engulf the shore. Man. I told you to leave me alone. I warned you. So let's do this. Order matters. All right, well, let's play Let. <laughs> Why don't you just play all of them? Master of Death, well, yeah, I guess I'm doing it in order. Surveil 2, up, but I'm Breathing Horde in there, and Memorial of the Are Gisa and Jarelf even zombies, or are they humans, or whatever? They wish. They wish. They're not. A mass yeah. 2. A mass 2. I don't know how many times you've amassed this game, probably as many times as Cherries has scryed one. No way. No way. Not well, if you take specifically scry one, maybe. Oh, maybe. Trigger here. Well, Come on, second four. We got a one. Scry, one. What is Cherries doing over there? That's what I'm curious about. Bottom, nothing. I don't believe you. You cannot believe me, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, fair enough. You'll see my play right now and you'll say, oh, yeah, he's doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Tap draw, one card? Possibly. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're playing a prognostic Sphinx out here. Yeah. I think passing, we're just passing. How many cards do you have in hand? Too many. Five. Five. Oh, wait, Scry, one. Bottom, baby. Give me that value. Draw a card. Can't believe I almost missed that. This is the game to end all games. It's so long. It's been back and forth for a while, though. I'll play Underdark Rift. Yeah, it could have been over if Mucka attacked the right people. Yeah, well, yeah, because then you would have engulfed the shores. <laughs> it won. And then won, yeah. Plays are going to be made. Five, six. I'm going to put a Rampaging Balos on the stack. Ooh. 
When I land two twos, I get a four four. Right. All right, you force me to make use a counter spell. Oh, no way. I'll disdainful stroke it. Okay. You know, I thought for sure that this wouldn't go until the it, it was over, it's but. It's still never making it. We're still seven turns away. You say that now. <laughs> you're right, you're if right. If that goes off, I will quit my YouTube channel. <laughs> you heard it here first. This episode won't make it. All right, anyway, <laughs> play a land that doesn't give me a beast, but I will tap nine mana Jesus. to play an artisan, and the cast trigger is gonna target this guy. I was prepared for a counter spell. What do you know? I mean, if I counter this, yeah, can I actually have some leeway for a little I bit? I promise that I won't attack anybody with my creatures <laughs> next this he's turn. Still gonna get a, he's still gonna get a bail off. I will counter the 10-9, the and I will draw two. Trigger resolves, I'll draw a card. Okay, that was it. We're gonna sack Fonts of Fertility. Chase, do counter spells work on other players? Uh, Read the card, nope. I wasn't sure. I haven't had to counter anything. That's funny, for somebody who was the biggest threat in the game, you sure aren't countering any of my spells. Benny, it must be. Benny was the biggest threat, but all my spells needed to be countered. I was countering the, the yeah, best spells that were being cast, the ones that were gonna kill me. I can't beat big on board threats like that. If anybody at this table thinks that I'm the biggest threat anymore, then I just might scoop and leave. Cause I, I like my group. Benny's the biggest threat, leave. All right, well, I'm out. Later, guys. <laughs> Been fun. The only reason I want to kill you is because you have two of my one of my best creatures. You? You only reason you want to kill him? Then why'd you attack me last turn? Because you had that thing that needed to be jabated. Yeah. yeah but that's not the point. We're gonna play rampant growth. Yeah. Then I'll move to combat. I'll gain three life, I guess. Cause can I get do anything else that's good? Nope. One, two, three, and then I will pass the turn. Listen, I had my moment in the sun. Yeah. I was I was king supreme for a little bit there. You flew too close to the sun. I flew too Icarus. close to the sun. I did. Swamp. Skis and Geralt. See, mill four, then you get a zombie for free. Four, and then mill four. Swamp. Two put card throat. Forgot what that one does. Like, sincerely, Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh. All right, I will cast for free Horde Wing Scab. Yeah, what's, what's going All on? All their zombies I have flying. Okay. Whenever one of my zombies. Oh, I shouldn't have played my swamp then. Oops. <laughs> we back up? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> See, I played it not knowing that. Fair. Okay. Yeah, that is, that's actually true. That's that, well, they have flying. All their zombies have flying. And whenever a zombie hits you, I draw cards and then I discard the equal of that many. Probably can't kill Bidney. He'll probably do something crazy, but <laughs> let's go to combat. I will be Where swinging. So three, six, nine. Are these decayed? No, this is my zombie armor. That's the amass, yeah. Three, six, nine, I'll try to swing 12 and lethal in the air to Bidney. Pressure's on. It's my only play. Oh, but here comes cast out. Oh. I mean, I'm still just dead to one of you, but. And then he just That's gets it. here nor there. Then he just gets it back after, but hey, you know, hey, it's fine. Life's good. Oh, whatever. I'll help you guys out. I'll get the token. Oh, me out. No, why would. You're trying to kill me right now. So nine, nine gets through then. Yep. And I draw. Let's see, zombie, zombie, zombie. So it's I draw three. It's for each player, yeah, right? What's. Um. Equal the number of oh, opponents. Was... Okay, so I get to draw one, discard one. You mill one. Okay. Mucka, it, Mucka, it'd be really unfortunate if you had 10 life. I'm passing up, Mucka. I, I guess you have this trigger at the end step. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna start my untap stuff because it's a long um... one. I didn't know that ECD was uh, permanent and opponent controls. Mm. My queen's gambit was gonna be to try to cast out out of time and then get rid of my own cast out. To... I'm gonna sack oh Master of Death. Right. Get a 2-2 two, two decayed zombie, and then draw a card and pass. Draw, did you draw your card, Maka? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna roll for my whatever it's called. Four. Four! Scry four, draw a card. I mean, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> Scry four, draw four for cherries is like draw one for a normal deck. I'll leave one. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Pro me wrong, please. <laughs> I'll draw a card, and then I will draw a card. I would love to prove you wrong, but I can't. <laughs> I'm going out, boys. It's all because of Mutka. You will get these, though. Well, I don't know. Where, where are we at, PZ? Yes. Make moves and I'll act accordingly. You just countered three of my best spells. Like, that's all you've done this game to me? No, no, no. So I, like... You're gonna pull that crap? What's this? Oh, yeah. right How does he do this? He convinces... He's like, oh, Joe's done all this stuff to me. He, he kills Mutka stuff and goes, Mucka, it was gonna die anyway. Yeah, and why does Silver Tongue over here... I'm saying, you're like, what's our relationship? Well, I don't know. How many spells have you countered this game? I think it was fair what I countered. You've blown up my tour. No, You've killed a bunch of my stuff. Either one of them can kill me with one attack. I mean, let's get him. I mean, I can't get him. But we don't want to give him a stuff back. Oh, shoot, you're right. I'm not going to salute yet, then. Send it in. We got to work together, even if we hate each other. I might be able to kill him. Just I can get him. For, I can get him for three here. That's what I can. Set me up. As long as you're not going to try and kill me, I'll hit. I will actually love this. I will resculpt here. Exile, you get a four-four. 
I feel a little bit like the mouse that the cats are playing with though. We're like, I'm dead, but you guys don't want Mucka to get these good creatures. So swinging at Mucka for three. Trigger, I will scry three. Have you reached to the point where you scryed everything yet? Listen, no. edit, you're like Nawiki right now, okay? Oh, me? No, I don't have anything. Oh, I'm, the show. Yeah, no, I have nothing good going on. I'll pass. I'm, I'm terrible. Siani. Well, the saddest thing about this game for me is I just didn't get to play all the at all. As soon as it hit the, as soon as hit the battlefield, yeah. it was just killed. I get the, I did draw three with it. I wonder what that's like. Go ahead. Svella? Oh, yeah. Well, at least, if, at least if I was recasting an attack seven, it's like, oh, you guys have spent a lot of removal on it. Nope. I'll keep just, uh, just one. <laughs> scribe. Oh, what a scribe, though. Bottom. Ice everywhere is broken. Muck, I have a feeling that if BZ can kill you this turn, then I also die. That's fair. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna play a land and trigger balance. That's what I was gonna cast out, but then you attacked me, so. Everybody's gonna hate everybody at the end of the day. <laughs> no, I, no, this is this is just me talking as an outside party. Look, again, I, I accept that I lost after all three of you started hitting me, and I was like, all right, we lose, but you know what? We did some great things. Sincerely, I do not think the correct option for you was to try and kill me. I On my last turn? Yeah, I don't. Granted, I have more knowledge about what I have than you do, but. All right, he enters. I'm gonna draw a card off the Uprising. Ooh, that's a nice combo. I know, it's cute. I'm gonna tap two mana for Voyaging Seder. Okay, uh, it does not have four power. Does it resolve? You never know. I think you know the answer. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to cast Inferno Titan. Does that resolve? Oh no. What is it doing? It's entering the battlefield and dividing. No, Come, yeah. be fair. Why are we not being fair? Why are you being a bully who's gonna I make me counter it? I was trying to kill Mucka, I thought, this turn. Okay, but yeah. why can't you just give me my, the word that you're not gonna kill my stuff? Your stuff stinks. I'm gonna just kill three damage to Mucka. How about that? Okay. Or three damage to Bidney. I reserve the right to choose. Bidney. That's fine. As long as it's not hitting my stuff, I think that's fair. So this 6-6 six, six can attack. I'm just gonna deal three to Mucka. <laughs> you're just like, oh. I will draw a card when it enters. <laughs> I still might die, which is fine. All right. Mucka, you have five creatures? Because I still have this voice guy that I'm trying to think about. We'll go for Cryptic Trilobite X2. Uh, I can remove X counters from it to add um, mana for abilities. It's like Hanger Backwalker, hmm. kind of like. I will use Hasty Voyaging Seder to untap this over land. Voice of many. I do have six creatures, which I think is the most, so that is good for three cards if it resolves. Yes, sir. All right, three cards. They're here. All right, we will go to attacks. Four at Mr. Bidney. The salute. That's six, right? Sorry, six. six at more than, yeah. Six. Enough. Will that give Mucka his stuff back? Yes. Yeah. In response, I'm going to sack all the hunt. Scry two. One more scry. No! Oh. <laughs> Quarantine field. <laughs> all right, yeah, I died. This is now what the board state looks like with everything phased back in and returned. And, and with Bidney dead. Right. Goodbye. I'm going to play Seeker of Skybreak, which taps to untap a creature. I'm gonna tap to untap Voyaging Seder with haste. I'm going to untap the Overgrowth Land. Are we just gonna die to Flyers? Is that what's gonna happen to Beezy? Because he didn't kill Mukka. I thought he was going I'm to. Go I mean, if you let me resolve all these spells, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. But I'm just saying, I think I can cast some bonus things. I don't know what I can do. I don't think you should let him. I think you should let me kill him next turn. I am a ghost. You when you try to kill me? I right. won't. Make a green. There's a green mana. I'm going to use the green mana to use Thousand Year Elixir to untap the Voyaging Seder. Is that good? All right, I'm gonna make three mana. I'm gonna use it to untap this land. I'm gonna use a green, and I'm gonna try to cast Vitalize, which untaps my creatures. And I guess I'll hold priority. Put a counter on this. How does that do anything? I haven't even figured that out yet. I don't know. I didn't make so much of mana, so. That's fine, yeah, you can go ahead, go crazy. Let the record show, I've got permission to go crazy. Move the bailouts down here where it doesn't matter yet. Okay, three mana, six mana, puts me up to seven, puts me up to eight, that's a lot, to cast a Sunbird's Ooh, Invocation. Easy. Is that good? It's when I cast a spell, I kind of like cascade into a cheaper spell. Okay, Cherries, I'm gonna try to fulfill my end of the bargain. Let's use Seeker Skybreak to untap a Voyaging Seer, which will then untap a red land. And with the remaining mana, I'll use one of it to do this, I guess. And the other one will be to cast Kazul's Fury, attempting to fling 
this 4-4 beast at Mukka, but there is a Sunbird's Evocation trigger. I can beat your friend, Joe. You'll lose immediately. <laughs> I mean, I definitely will survive next turn, but I don't. I wouldn't kill you, I would kill BZ. If this resolves, he dies. And I absolutely can't beat you. Okay, I don't know, can you absolutely do anything against Mukka? Mukka's at a lower life total. I couldn't, I can't kill both of you next turn. What do you have that works against Mukka that doesn't work against me? I mean, do you want to resolve the Sunbird's trigger? One, two, three. Nothing. All right, Mukka. You deserve death for this. <laughs> I will let's change kill. the target to you, BZ. I just want everybody to know that Cherries was like, let's kill Mukka, what can we do? And I go ahead and do it, and now I'm being dealt four damage. It resolves. I'm sorry, because I can't lose the game. Oh, you, but BZ, you weren't supposed to do that much good oh, stuff no. for yourself. The terms have changed. The, the, yeah, you changed the terms and conditions, right. and then went, I can't believe Joe betrayed me when I changed the whole deal of conditions. Right. Micah, I'll pass to you, and there's a there's a just way to play your turn, and there's a way that rewards sliminess to play your turn. Go ahead. Yeah, the, That's all I'll say. So it rewards, it rewards players who saved your life and lie. Go to three. Micah's just going to die in Dreadhorde invasion. Yeah, yeah, I'll just kill myself. That's his dream. <laughs> you want to pay one life for this, the surveil guy? No. I need three more turns with the Dreadhorde. I have nothing else on upkeep. All right, draw for turn. You want to pay a life? Where were you? I was at, well, I wanted to double check. Because I think you were paying attention. No, no, no. I heard you were too busy thinking of your next life. Will you just die? I mean, it's not all bad being dead. You get to watch your friends fight. Oh, we're fighting. <laughs> I'll cast this for free. From the graveyard? From the graveyard. Yep. All my zombies get plus one plus O. Oh. All right, go to combat. Do it. Everything can attack, right, this turn? Yeah, except the stitch. Four, it's 14 at BZ. This is, this is other, is it flying too? I should probably keep a flyer. And I need to keep some flyers back, because of, you have how many flyers? One, two. Just something to have in your back of your head. Mm -hmm. When you kill me, this goes away. And so he gets a gonna, third flyer. What's he gonna do, leave you alive so you untap and win? How many, uh, the uh, lower uh, on the ground blockers do you have? I have five lower on the ground blockers. <laughs> lower? Oh, because of the, uh... I mean, that's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see these guys. Lower on the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, don't think that those are mine. I'm dead. BZ's just having a picnic over my grave. <laughs> now it's like, now I'm playing Kingmaker. This, now the, you, the, made, you made a deal with me. I mean, if you don't want to kill him, I accept that. But if you kill me this turn, I will cry. <laughs> no, we know what he has in his hands. He has Overrun. He has, um... We knew that? He has, oh, he has. Yeah. The hoof. There are four I mean, I have a lot of creatures. Though. How, did, the, how did that get back into your hand? He uh, engulfed the shore. I engulfed yes. the shore. The whole shore. I mean, no BZ has, that's enough to pretty much wipe us both out. I don't know, I have, I have not done, even begun to do math with that. That's fair. All right, well, I'm a Temple of Deceit first. <laughs> they, oh, oh, a scry! That's a big Let's play. go! <laughs> Bottom. I've seen this. I would like you to not edit that part and just have all that lengthy thought and conversation what and then <laughs> ascribe that. Mucka said he wouldn't, no, no, no. Not only did you say you wouldn't kill me, you said you would kill BZ. Be very clear about what I'm you said. I'm still going to kill him. I said I would kill Mucka and- I would still, I would kill him, oh, yeah. but then be able to- was... I thought you heard that That's part. what you're asking? Oh, yes. Okay. To ba basically make it so I won't die to Joe and then we can kind of square off and see what happens. All right, I'll go to combat. I'll swing at the Reaver. He's in Garolf, Elemental, Decayed Zombie, Zombie, Bonsu, 16 damage. Oh, so not even close to lethal, like you promised. And Ruthless Death Thing. I'll send that 20 at BZ. Okay. But all the zombies get plus one, so yeah, actually yeah. it's, you know, plus one each. That are zombies. This left forever ago. Doesn't matter. I mean, that hasn't actually affected anything yet. All right, my blocks. I'm gonna double block here, single block all three of these, and then I have no blocks for the seven that's getting through. Two, One, two, three, six. four, five, six, seven. Now, these two creatures die from Bantu. Lazotep Reaver gets squished. The Elemental gets squished. Gisa gets squished, which creates three sacrifice triggers for everybody. All right, I, in response, I will scrap one. One for me, two, two for me, three for me. We'll Elegeth is free. We'll end combat, and then the decayed zombie token will die, triggering Butcher of Malakir, second another creature. Yep. Hmm. I don't think you're finding all your triggers. 
Whenever you sacrifice a creature, target player sacrifices a creature. So that's just one. Oh, just that's one just one. Yeah, it's just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the dirtiest win ever. So now you have to sack two. So yeah, you sack right. two creatures. So, well, target player. So you sacrificed one zombie to the decay trigger. Well, each like of us target. sacrifices one, plus you pick someone to sacrifice another one. Um, How many creatures do you have left? I mean, Mike, I you can still play right now. <laughs> oh, he's gonna win, and um, he betrayed his word. Very much so. <laughs> I'll make you sacrifice. Mucka, you yeah. have made your last deal with me ever. All right. For the rest of eternity. You did not keep your deal. Right. The deal was, I will kill BZ and not you. You didn't even come close. Even come close. But that's because you didn't let me kill him. All right, so let's see. Now you're going to kill him next turn, BZ. I'm like, no, I want to help you. For real, though? Or is this another oh, fake yeah. you're going to help? I don't another, care if you kill me, too. Another fake. I don't even care anymore. If you kill me, it's fine. You kept your word in your deal. And, like, I had to, I had to counter the spell. Uh, you started to say betray, but anyway. You kept the word. I didn't betray him. As much as I want to say betray, it wasn't a betrayal. These die. There's also triggers from Will Help after combat's damage, because I killed How many zombies? that guy. You should have one. The Reaver? You should have zombie. one more decay token. That's from the... Blazes up Reaver coming in. I chomp, I blocked it, killed it. Now it has that. So now you're at the end step. You can sacrifice. End step, I'll sack my zombie um, with Will Hut's ability to target opponent with Butcher Malik here. So we sacrifice the creature, and, you're and then Cherry sacrifices two. And then I draw a card off Will Hut. Time okay. for more scries. Cheers, I want to say I want to say kudos to you though because you kept saying the whole game you're like my deck doesn't do anything and I was like he's just lying. He's got to be blowing smoke. <laughs> has, my deck doesn't do anything. Yeah, I wasn't lying. To you. Like yeah, I think your deck just legitimately doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Too many deals and non-deals and betrayals. This is a poker table, not a magic. People have been degree. betraying everybody the entire game. I've never said anything. I've made zero I'm deals. The only anything. one who has betrayed. No one's been honest. I was the one who got. I never said anything. I will exile. The Butcher of Malakir. Okay, you get a raven. What's going on? What the hell does that say? That's so raven. <sighs> get my raven. That's so raven. I'll pay eight for Elegath. Yep. And then I want, as much as I would like to rebuy this, I can't because I need to leave up an action for buff face. Treasure cruise? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna treasure cruise. I'm gonna draw three cards. Why, because he's scrying? It's scrying scry three, but he draws. Play this land for a turn. God help our editor. Please, please, I don't care. If you kill me with him, I'll go down with him. I, I will make that promise. Wow. If you can kill both of us, I will do nothing. Wow. But help you kill uh, I want to untap. Give me that at least. You don't betray your word. I'll scry one. I don't remember what his word was. His word was, I will kill BZ and not you. Draw a card. Exactly, and it's on the tape. I think she'll let me kill him next turn. This is when you try to kill me. I won't. I hope that the editor is playing it over and over Dude, did, and over and over. You know, I hope it's like fading in Mucka saying it right now. I think she'll let me kill him next turn. This is when you try to kill me. I won't. Now. So you told him you wouldn't do something if he killed BZ. I said I would save his life. Which I absolutely did. Cast Kazul's Fury. All right, Mucka. Let's Change go. the target to you, BZ. I used resources to keep him in the game. So I will go down with BZ. I will die if BZ can kill both of us. And I will do there nothing, nothing to stop it, Mucka. All right, I think we got to dig deep. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to use the most better lands. I'm going to cast a Terastodon. And I'm going to trigger Sunbird's Invocation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Usually my goal in Magic the Gathering is to win the game. Now it's for Mucka to lose. <laughs> Throw a Hellkite Igniter on the field. Oh. Then we will resolve Terastodon, and I have to destroy three non-creature permanents. Uh, it's going to be eyes everywhere, for sure. <laughs> and um, these, just in case. We all get three threes. Three threes. I'm going to reuse that glorious one I made earlier. I'm also drawing two cards off of Garrick's Uprising. We're going to go for Good another chance. whammy. Guess who? It's Enry's Forerunners. Let's trigger Sunbreeze Vocation for eight again. We'll throw a Terror of Mount Valus in, in there. So my creature's getting double strike, and I'll draw a card. And then yeah. Enry's will come out, and I'll draw a card. Some of these things don't have haste, is the issue. Nasty Trasty does not have haste. Right. Oh, I had a counter spell, by the way, Maka. I want to be very clear. We're going to combat where I'm going to... I think I'm going to gain three life. All right. Now, we have a just ridiculous attack, but... These guys are ginormous. Muck has got some cards. This thing is so huge. Oh, your guys have double strike. My guys have double strike. All right, we're gonna go a death fitting of a traitor. 14 at Mucka, flying, trample, double strike, paste, whatever. And then 14 at cherries and another 
12 at Cherries. So this is a seven? It is a seven, seven flying double strike. Trample. Trample. Should I just let myself die? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I mean, do you, do you keeping yourself alive give you a really good chance of if it, it means you could still win. It gives me at least a chance of winning. So I'm going to tap two mana and reality shift the biggest thing coming at me, which I think is the- The boars. The boars, yeah. The boars are 14. Exile the boars. Look, it's a, it's a manifest. Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. It's 14 damage. I don't think you have enough butt in the air here. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm not dead. I mean, oh, not dead. I have a tragic slip in my hand. It's Double strike good. hits. My guy dies, I get him the minus 13, minus 13 to survive. I triple block. You're still dead. So you're gonna triple block. It's got seven power, so they're all just dead. They all die. And then now there's, it is attempting to trample over for seven. If you have an effect, now is a good time to use it. So since a creature die with tragic slip, giving this minus I'll counter 13, it. minus 13. Cherries is going I'll, ham. I'll counter it. I will discard an island and another card uh, to counter it. Okay. <laughs> I suppose it's countered, Marco. It's fair. I suppose it's countered. You've been murdered. Okay, and Cherries, oh. what about this 12? 12, I'm taking 12. <laughs> My turn is over. All right, I'm fine with, uh, BZ can Fair. earn it. He earned this win. What a whirlwind. All right, untap. I still have a chance because I do have Elegath actually on the battle. That's true, now is your time. So now is my time that I can actually go off. We will trigger the puzzle four, baby. Come on, four. One. How about one? Draw one. Draw another one. This is why I gained three life, just in case. Just in case. Did you play Mystic Sanctuary? I just did. All right, so what are you putting on top? I'm putting on top a Spectral Deluge. And then we're gonna follow up that with a Behold the Multiverse. So let's just draw four. So I'm gonna draw four magic cards. One, <laughs> two, three. I dare you four. to draw four Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> All right, we'll play it. I already played a Mr. Sanctuary. I apologize. Judge, judge, judge. judge. That's not making the What's video. The we'll tap one blue for a Seer and Visions. Okay, draw three. Draw three, one, two, three. I one, two, three, four, five, five six. Bz, get your creatures off the board. So that just extends the game. Bye. A good amount. Well, we'll see. Pay two mana for this, two mana for a Triskaidekaphile, and pass the turn to BZ. Cards in hand. I've got four, five actually. Right. Oh, actually, I want to have BZ for five. Yeah, clock you for five. Take five. Go ahead, BZ. All right, let's see if I can put something together. This is cool. This is this has been a great game. Draw a card. Start with the actual card that is bad news for you. So trigger. Some words invocation. I'm gonna cast a Timeless Witness. Uh, I will target fires, and I'm gonna cast fires with this mana. And there'll be trigger on Sunbirds. Resolve the Sunbirds first. All right. I hope it's just the same thing. Boom! Arbor Elf, baby. I think this is where I have to counter the fires of Yavamaya. Okay. May just be dead. Don't mess this up, BZ. Don't mess this up. I am gonna use Arbor Elf's quick ability to untap this, and I'll try to play Swift Foot Boots and trigger my Sunbirds invocation with a mana floating. Yep. You're good. I mean, I am F6. Ah, well, we're gonna go for an equip. Ski. You can do what you want. And if, you have, if you have something, I'm gonna hold back. So I will send five, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts. So I'm going to pump it twice to be 19. Yeah, that's game. Good games, everybody. That is a good game. Oh my God, this was such a freaking roller coaster. GT, I want to see it. I want it. Oh, we. Oh, oh, what are we? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, Mucka. So yeah. Nice. What ended up happening was I drew the psychosis crawler too late. Something happened. I think it was Sunbird's invocation. Where? Nope. We. No, I'm saying like on my board from like yeah, I'm getting back into this to like holy crap. What's uh, going on? There was one thing that happened in that. Was it Mucka's betrayal? Yes. <laughs> there was a lot of betrayal. Let's be honest. What was the any betrayal? Besides, name one. Just name one. Go ahead. When Joe flung my creature at myself. That was pretty betrayal. That wasn't even a betrayal. I am victorious and I will be signing the magic card. We want to throw a special shout out to Bidney and Mucka for coming here and betraying us the whole time. How dare you. Peace out, Tribe Scouts. Peace out.